Hey, big booty bitches, it's Best Guy Ever here with a special announcement from the Procrastinators. <gasps> Radcon 3! Right, the PCP has officially launched our Kickstarter to fund Radcon 3 Arena. Since our previous venue is no longer available to us, we had no choice but to enter the arena. And by that, I mean rent a house. Six of the procrastinators will be there to make content just like you saw at Radcon 1 and Radcon 2. The only difference is this time we're doing a Kickstarter specifically to fund that rad content you love. The PCP Royal Rumble, the PCP U Lectures, and the live 100th episode of the Procrastinators Podcast. All this and so much more content will be created if we can make this Kickstarter happen. By the time you're hearing this, the Kickstarter will have been running for about a week already, but go ahead and click on the link in the description to check it out. We've got a bunch of great perks. Pledge $10 and get behind-the-scenes footage of Radcon 3. $20 get a pin. $50 get a t-shirt. $100 get a special shout-out during Radcon. And if you're an absolute mad lad who wants to pledge $1,000 you will be entered into the PCP Royal Rumble, becoming a meme god. Six of the members of the Procrastinators are signed up to be there. Best guy ever, Ben Saint, Digibro, Hippocrit, Tom Oliver, and Munchie. We are asking for $5,800 to make it happen, and with your support, we know we can. We just want to be able to get together again and make the content that we enjoy making and you love watching. And this is how we get it done. So, for the full details, and if you have any questions, head on over to the Kickstarter. Link in the description. There's a full breakdown of everything that I just discussed, and so much more. Check it out, and please consider donating. God damn it, do we want Radcon 3 Arena to be real! And check out our stretch goals. For $6,300, we'll be able to afford GoPros and Nerf guns to make Radcon 3 Arena IRL. Meaning, fucking shooting each other and shit. It's gonna be sick. And if we make $9,001, we will literally max revive T-Back! We have to go back! That's a meme tier, but yes, we will actually do that if we reach that goal. That's our pitch. Thanks for listening, and please click the link in the description and go check out our Kickstarter page. You know how much we can deliver if we can make this Radcon happen. Thank you, and enjoy the show. I'm not positive that Jesus is God, but I'm throwing in with Jesus rather than throwing in with you guys because you guys can't tell me how it all got here. You guys don't know. We're working on it. Physicists are working. When you get it, then maybe I'll listen. You disgust me. (laughs) Okay, here we go. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of the Procrastinators Podcast. That's the PCP, filling your brain with higher dimensional thoughts that you've never uh, uh, been. I am the best guy ever, and we're joined today by Hippocrite! Admiral Akbar. <laughs> it's high energy PCP today. Uh, ben Saint. Um, I'm Wicca now. Yes. Uh, 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 Tom Oliver. Jesus is the best guy ever. <laughs> oh, fuck. Munchie wears tiny hats. All right, guys. My strategy for this game is to rush calendar so I can pick up an early Pantheon and then spam some caravans for my UA. Hmm. And uh, I didn't miss anyone, right? That's everyone? Yeah, that's everyone here. All, all the five boys are here. And we did it, guys. We cracked the life code because today we're talking about the only question that matters. Which video game is best video game? Yeah. All right, we're here. It's, 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 Undertale. it's, Undertale. it's Undertale. Just, you know, throwing that out there. I got, I got a strong contestant here. Uh, here, uh, mm-hmm. here. I, I have a strong contestant here. You guys say your favorite, so I'll get mine. <laughs> I, I like I like uh, uh, Undertale. Uh, Wait, I'm like, um, a big fan. I like Undertale personally. Is, <laughs> is there any debate that it's Undertale? <laughs> like the way, the truth, no, and the life. Let's let's just keep going through the motions. <laughs> the real the real question is yeah. who likes Undertale the most? That's <laughs> yeah. really that's true. The best video oh, game we, we, ever made is Active Life Magic Carnival for Wii. Sponsored by Active more Life video games Magic that Carnival. Are inferior <laughs> Ma- to Undertale. Uh, the the Mac the the Active Light Mac controller not included. Cannot find this anywhere. I looked on eBay. It's you not know, there. 
Oh, okay, that's that's a good contender. Uh, but I consider that sort of a subset of the greater Undertale uh, worship community. And really, what I think we need to do is start dividing ourselves into subdivisions of Undertale worship. You know, like there's the there's the the lowly papyrus clan. There's there's the Sans, uh, you know, uh, devouts. The Sans devouts. There's uh, the, the Sans the Orthodox. Undine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Indeed, indeed. We need to form these factions and begin warring intensely with each other. I think that's the mo that's the best way to kind of burn out the undesirable elements of our community here. Yeah, and uh, just spiral into perfection. Have to prove themselves in a trial by fire. I, I, mm -hmm. I, I, Otherwise, I, how do we know? I I I consider myself a hardcore Toriothian. Uh, I live and <laughs> breathe by the ninety five hentai's of uh, hentai notions <laughs> of Toriel. My my favorite ones. <laughs> Yes, uh, uh, she is a thick boy, without a doubt. Enough, uh, enough of this. You, yes, it's religion. It's religion, guys. We're talking about religion, such as Undertale worship, mm -hmm. uh, and and the other ones Most that are notably. out there. Yes, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but Nate, Weird, I mean, what is yes. religion? Oh, excellent question. <laughs> let's consult. Let's consult the sacred text yeah. over on UrbanDictionary.com. Uh, okay, a religion. <clears throat> An organized group of people with a common belief. Most religions <coughs> strongly stress <laughs> ethics and morals, along with setting guidelines whoa, for people whoa, whoa. to follow the in their day-to-day the life. Wait, wait, wait a minute. So you're saying <laughs> yeah, that a religion I'm disappointed. Is a, wait, wait, wait. I need to I just know. pause for a second. This is something really important, is that a religion is an organized group of people with a common set of beliefs with a high emphasis on ethics. So game, mm -hmm. Gamergate is a religion. Oh, <laughs> shit. Oh, no. <laughs> right, well, just... you, know, you know what's interesting about this? I, I'm reading, I, I've read every single definition of religion on Urban Dictionary. Not a single one of them is like a meme or a joke. God. And this, this begins this is what the I think one is an I important element. Yeah. This, is the, this is good because I think this is indicative of how seriously people take religion, that there isn't enough of like a, like even here on Urban Fucking Dictionary, everybody's taking this way too fucking Jesus seriously Christ. and it needs to be ridiculed roundly. And Urban Dictionary, I'm very disappointed. You know what? Let's go to knowyourmeme.com. Let's go yes, to knowyourmeme. Yes, meme. yes, the real All right, these cats are fucking one. on. Knowyourmeme.com, baby. Right, let's, let's, let's see what we got for religion on. Oh, there we go. We yes, yes, yeah, know your meme. <laughs> these guys, okay, they'll hook us up. Um, wait, sorry. Uh, it's not it's You're not fucking going. this up for me, Nate. I'm sorry. I'm Quick, sorry. He I'm doesn't. He to... doesn't know how to maneuver this. This new fan. I think. I think. Site. I Everyone think Christian pray. memes would actually have a know your meme page. I. 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 God. 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 Okay. Uh, what do you uh, got? Uh, what do you got? About God is a religious concept, typically described as a superhuman spirit. God is a yes. core and often controversial topic of religious, philosophical, and political discussion. Incredible. <laughs> uh, he, he, Incredible. He, here's include advice, God. I gave you free will, uh, bottom text. So use it exactly as I command you to. Real nice meme there. Know your meme. <laughs> I'm reading the know your meme entry for a religion is is also like weirdly non jokey. Okay, listen to this about about religion. Religion is a spiritual and cultural system of ideas, beliefs, behaviors, blah, 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 built on holy traditions, adherents of religion, blah, 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 they worship. This is not, where's the meme? Nate, where's Nate, the fucking serious? I, I come to this website for one thing and one thing only. No, no, no. The, yeah. reason, the reason that there's no jokes is because religion in itself is a joke. Let's, oh, let's be honest. Oh, there you go. I, there I, I would you like go. Let me tip my fedora The comedy was here all along. <laughs> exactly. Mm -hmm. I, I would like to say that this, dear viewers, will be like, Probably the most circle jerky, circular, secular, like non, like just like, this will just be all of us have the exact same opinion. All of us have the exact same opinion because there's only one opinion to derive from this entire topic. You know, there is there, there no might... discussion that can even take place at this point. It's all been discussed already. Right? There well, is only one position. Well, I actually am interested in defending religion on this, just to be contrary to my own point of view. But go again. What, 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 what a shock! What yeah. Nate know, playing devil's advocate on the religion episode. Oh, because I, I see am how it is. the devil. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay. The, the, mm -hmm. the, the thing that I was planning on on talking mm -hmm. about just a little bit is uh, the thing I like about religions is mm -hmm. um, the the sick architecture. And the reason religion is bad <laughs> in my in my mind is because they don't build any new really cool uh, mosques and churches and stuff. They just that use the old ones, I and they don't have look any at, cool look at new this. stuff. It's because they invented the internet, learning. and now they well, don't no, have no. All, they don't have the free time anymore. Well, once, They've got better things this, to do. Dude, look. Okay, the yeah. Muslims have it figured out. Look at this sick ass cube that all the Muslims in perfect circles all it's gather around and bow Minecraft. to. 
It is. <laughs> they worship the obsidian. <laughs> <laughs> <For> Minecraft. <laughs> uh, okay, but seriously, that this is, is like a the most aesthetic cube, thing. Though. This is so sick. Like th- they've got it figured out. I mean, if I was gonna make a religion, I'd probably want it to center around a cube. Isn't that the whole point of this episode? We're going to make a religion? We've already made a pyramid scheme. I figure, like, we've already idea. dipped our toes into this Dude, concept. I could totally make that in Minecraft right now. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be fucking easy. It'd be baby mode. Do it All right, right listen, now, Gib, I... and we'll have it be the thumbnail for the episode. That's a good idea. Well, I don't want to be uh, distracted. But oh. you know. to, be, to be serious about it, if I was going to make a religion, I would sort of have it be... I mean, it's, it's, it's just, like, basically what I think anyway, but it would be, like, some weird... Like, okay, human beings are weak and need things, like, to gather around and, like, pretend is real, even if it's not. Like, they Fiction. need a, a, some sort of spiritual fulfillment in some way. Oh, you're, like, rolling my I, thunder here, dude. But keep going, keep going. Uh, fair, fair enough, fair enough. Uh, but, like, I would say, like, the worship of, like, intelligence or, like, progress or, like, the human spirit or success of people, like, human happiness... I mean, those are the values that I have, so I would just, like, center my religion around those. But the problem is that religions are fundamentally based on faith, obviously. That is the core idea behind every single religion. Not the best which is literally... religion of all, Wicca. Mm. <laughs> it's based around which casting I... six are... spells and enchantments are... and sorceries. <laughs> are, 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 are you a True. cyber Wiccan, a.k.a. A, a, a digital pagan? Um, I, th- I mean, I, I don't want to limit myself to just <laughs> one box of Wicca. Yeah, there are so many labels, there's so many boxes, why would you limit yourself to just one? I want to be a fucking Wiccan, yeah. pagan, Christian, Islamic fucking atheist, and if I'm going to do that, you can't fucking stop me! Yeah, well, like... If you, it would be it would be fucked up. It would just be dogmatic to say that you can't be all of those things at once. It'd be bigoted. Indeed. In, in, indeed, that's true. Um, you know, I, there is a real debate, I think, to be had here between some of us, because uh, I generally uh, think, oh, well, you know what, we, we were saying before about, like, how religion uh, does have sick architecture. Christopher Hitchens, old dead atheist who was pretty, pretty cool, uh, used to say that, like, the one thing, so he, he would ask this question to people who, like, debated him about religion because he's a big atheist guy, um, like, what, tell me one thing that you can get from religion that you can't get like, from secular humanism or whatever. And, like, the one answer he got that he thought was reasonable... I mean, at the time, he said music. Like, divinely faith-inspired music. He was like, there, there is... The, the feeling of, like, surrender to a higher power that is beyond comprehension is is something that is basically fundamental to religion. And, like, that, that, that sort of feeling is hard to well, recapture. Can't you be yeah, in awe what? of the infinite universe and all that? I can't mean, I'm in awe of Undertale of, of, all so, the time. Oh, can't be awe of Obama? <laughs> I would I write mean, civilities in about Obama. I would get cash trade for Obama if I was in the National Obama Choir. I'd do that. I'd sign myself well, up for uh, that. Uh, there's there's a particular type of thing here that like you're in the hands of like an omnipotent creator that's like beyond Are you understanding. Telling you know that Obama a... doesn't have big enough hands to hold me? Obama's <laughs> got the biggest hands in the fucking game. That's why he plays so much people. Okay, well you know what? That, that's fine and all. Uh, I, I I I you know I find some some things that like crazy people also can make pretty cool art, which is you know what's going on here. I mean, I mean look at this channel. Look at this channel, fair yeah, viewers. I Look mean, at Parkour what, what Dude I was 91. What I'm bringing up yeah. with like the, mm-hmm. the architecture mm-hmm. is like obviously a lot of architecture back in the day was mm-hmm. like um, cool and stuff, just like yeah. all the the religious stuff. It's not like mm-hmm. religion mm-hmm. isn't the res- the reason we have cool buildings. Catholicism is super aesthetic. It's super. Yeah. It, it oh, might it be is. That wrong. Oh, I, I love I love the it aesthetic is. of it. Yeah, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. it's it's not like I'm saying religion should exist so that maybe a church can be built. I'm just saying. Mm-hmm. Um, Some people would argue besi- that, besides the like obvious, like yeah, it's not real. Um, mm-hmm. It's nice to just a, a major let sticking point to be the, sure. Like things about <laughs> like like I don't know. I just don't really mind too much about it. In... Well, okay. Here's a, here's here's that. I'm glad you said that because that ties into what I was gonna get to. Here's where we can actually have a debate here. Uh, Christopher Hitchens would go on to say, beyond being an atheist, he would define himself as an anti-theist, which is that if there even was a god, he would be opposed to it because he finds the very idea morally reprehensible. And I have a lot of agreement with that position. I think the idea that God is real, let's say in the, in the so Christian So Christopher sense, Hitchens... Is mm-hmm. L from Death Note? No, no, not not L. Near. He's, he's near. near. He, he's near. He, he, he's Buddy the Elf from Elf, <laughs> <laughs> as seen yes. in Elf. 
<laughs> Correct. Yes, yes. Um, yeah. And you know what? Uh, while I'm at it, I'll just quote uh, the near line that I, as a child, this is this might have been the first time I really got, like, really fedora tippy just in my own life when I read in the final volume of Death Note when Nier is yeah. about to capture uh, a light. This is a quote that really inspired me. That I would put on all my Facebook bios and whatnot when I was a young lad. It was, even if a god exists and I had his teachings laid out before me, I would still decide for myself what was right and what was wrong. And I could not agree more with that. It's great. It's great stuff. It's a great line. It's a great line. Yeah. What what direction are we going to take with this? Are we going to talk about like our our, our, our histories of religion, or like how we feel well, about we, it first? Like, what, what we're going to do what's going is we're going yeah. we're, we're we're to talk about our, our stuff that we know about and think about religion, and then we're going mm-hmm. to create our own religions each God, and agree. explain the teachings. <laughs> Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Here, here, I'm just gonna lay out this before, like, like, spoiler alert, this is the only discussion that can occur around religion. This will just be mm. a spoiler for the podcast here. I'm gonna condense all the history of religious discussion into, like, a paragraph. I like God. Uh, well, he's not real. Uh, there's no evidence. Yeah, but I like him. Oh, uh, but, you know, there's no evidence. Yeah, I know. Uh, it makes me feel comfort because I don't like the <laughs> idea of there not being God. Yeah, I mean, that's true. It's nice to feel comfort, but it's fake. There. It's done. Yep. Yeah, that's, that's it. That's All right, it. bye. That's, that's it. The entirety. What, what else that's could the entirety. you say? Well, that that's the thing. Is it okay, here's here's the antitheist thing. Is it in fact morally reprehensible to believe in God? I would argue yes. I, I would argue I yes. Think I, it just I, depends to believe in him? Yeah. To yeah, that's right. Like to, to just believe, believe that he's real? It, it, like, no. if you're a kid think... and you say you believe in God because your parents were told to, I mean, in that case, it's different. But to be a functioning adult who says you believe in God, I find morally reprehensible. I think, I... all right, here's my point on that. I think, mm-hmm. obviously, people don't follow the books 100%. Like, not every person Correct. who isn't is a they Muslim. They don't even read the books reads, most of the they time. Don't, they, yeah, they don't read like it. Like any don't adaptation. The whole thing. They don't, we yeah. don't they, cover everything in they, the books. They, mm-hmm. they, they, they cherry pick, you know, and wow. they... they, they do whatever they do. Mm-hmm. So the idea that the book is, I mean, it is like, it does make bad things happen. But I think, I think if, if someone just says, yeah, I believe in God, I don't think that in, in initially means anything. I just, mm-hmm. it, it, like, it depends on what they do. See, I, I disagree already with that fundamental position. Because I, I think if you say that you believe in God, at the very least, at the very you least, it means that- you're an idiot, but that's all. Like it no, means no, you're, okay. you're you're I, stuck in your ways and you won't change, but like that doesn't mean anything, really. It just just depends on what you do, it like with like it's a case by case sort of thing. I think it informs at least. A, I, I totally admit that there's a uh, there's a huge variety of of people here, but if you believe in any god, that means that you believe that there is a creator who made the world as it is, and like to to spend any amount of time thinking that there is a god therefore xyz happens uh, like there is no logical way you can arrive at this conclusion that there like there's any reason to do so but you, so i would say that that is a waste of your I, time and resources but you can't conclude that there's not either uh, but I, I, that's exactly the point though okay let me just clarify real quick atheism simply uh, some people define it like some people are identitarian which is always a bad thing to be and say i'm an atheist therefore i'm an atheist and this defines who i am nate, as a person. nate Bestman, the self-professed anti-theist is saying that identitarianism is bad I, I, I'm not actually, I would not never use a label on myself. Wait, I just describe f- who I am as a person. What the fuck is identitarianism? It just like to be, to say that, okay, I'm a Christian. Like that means I, I feel like I belong to this group. I am part of it. And this applies to any group. Like I am even saying like I, I'm male. Therefore, like I'm into male stuff. Hmm. That is being which, identitarian. Which have already crushed and proved does not exist in a, in a previous episode. Uh, we've already discussed this. <laughs> Indeed. So we've already proven that wrong. So get that yeah, idea. very true. The concept so to of say maleness that sure is a slippery one. <laughs> if someone is an atheist, therefore they go and join tons of like atheist organizations and they like write the in all their Facebook bios that they're an atheist. <laughs> yeah, like if, if you do that, then you're you are becoming a an uh, an identitarian. You're you're using this label to define yourself, and people will use that to judge you. So don't do it. Instead, be represented by your ideas. But here's the point. An atheist simply means one who lacks the belief 
in God, and I want to, just to be super clear, because people fuck this up every time, lacking the belief, meaning you have not been convinced that something is true, that is what it means, and therefore, everyone should be defined as an atheist from birth until they have made a logical, educated argument to themselves and are convinced that God is real. That is when you should then say, okay, now I I'm just, transitioning I just to like, a theist. I just, I, just, I just feel like it, mm -hmm. like... For a lot of people, they never think about it, ever. And it's Indeed. just like um, an answer to a question. Do you believe? Yes. Uh, I That's go to exactly church every so often. Yeah, but mm -hmm. I don't see too much of a problem in, like, a person who is just a normal person. Nothing about them is, is, is like, unusual. If, I'll tell you exactly you know, why it's a problem. Compared with, like, an atheist or someone who just grew up somewhere else. I'll tell you exactly why it's a problem. It's because it allows the demagogues of society to say, look at America, 99%, you know, theists. This is a God-fearing country. Therefore, X, Y, Z, I do is justified what, what, in the name of God. What, what a great adjective, by the way, that people use that unironically God-fearing. Like, like, God, like, 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 they'll like use that's it as a thing. positive. Like, that's something you yeah, want people yeah, to be. Yeah, that's, that, like, that, I know, that's right? a positive. Uh, by the way, I, guess, I, I, mm. I really want to say, like, oh, like, mm -hmm. like, I, like I, I want to say, like, you know, oh, you, you can believe believe whatever you want to believe it and i am currently saying that right now with my mouth that is how i feel like you know believe whatever you want however i can't wrangle my empathy as well as i would like to because i just fucking hate him i just hate him i'm sorry believe what you want but i it's it's stop Stop if God it, is please. real, he is a moral monster. And yes. I don't want to hear any of this bullshit about free will. If I created a race of, like, super intelligent All rats right. and set them in a cage and watched them tear each other apart because I gave them the gift of consciousness and, you know, therefore evil could be created, I am responsible for that, just as God would be. Well, I mean, I think it's kind of hypocritical sometimes when people say that, like, God is, like, a moral good despite all this because we could we extend ethical consideration to, like, animals that we mm -hmm. think are, like, intellectually lower than us and we can, like, make decisions on like a macro scale that like animals don't have the consciousness to be aware of and like we didn't create them we just look on the situation and be like we should do this thing you know like well, you know it's animal conservation and shit like that whatever so to say that like mm -hmm. that is a moral imperative and, like that's a moral good and then to be like well god can just let us beat our own devices and that's like somehow also good it seems like a contradictory well, well religions have well, a different here's way. an observation yeah. um if mm -hmm. you believe in god you probably also believe in other foolish things like objective morality and if yeah, you believe yeah, in an yeah. and if you believe in an objective morality you have to you have to be like well okay but what is that and some people might say that like god is yeah. the definition of what is good and therefore say, anything that god wants is is a moral good like by mm -hmm. definition, yeah. You know? But uh, as we already discussed, our friend Nier dispatched that argument handily. <laughs> well, that was Death just Note like covered. his opinion. Well, I man. think that kind of like boils I, I know, into I what I was gonna say about religion, which I've already spoken about God and religion in depth in my like forty-five minute hyperbolic wine chamber Bring episode, which everyone should way. listen to. But um, <laughs> mm -hmm. but my my kind of thing with religion is like I think it's it's basically just a social shorthand because like what I. For an order for like a society to function competently, you need to mm -hmm. have a bunch of people who have a core set of foundational beliefs or ideas that they all agree on, because uh, that's basically the foundation you build an entire social structure on top of. You know, people mm -hmm. come together, they believe certain things, or they have a certain kind of idea of what like good and bad is, what like right and wrong is. There's like a foundation. You know, we have like law and stuff like that, and religion was a is a convenient way of being like these are the boundaries of society. This is the boundaries of behavior. Right. So if you have a, mm -hmm. if you have a society that's all Christian, for example, everybody's operating under the same sort of like social and moral assumptions. Mm -hmm. So you mm -hmm. have social cohesion that way. And the interesting thing with like America now is that because we're kind of like stepping back and allowing all this intermixing of stuff to happen, like we're opening society up to new ideas. But at the same time, society is also becoming more unstable because people can't agree on the essentials anymore. They can't agree on the foundation when everybody has well, a slightly uh, different mm -hmm. presupposition of what that foundation is, whether that's religious, whether that's social uh mm -hmm. anything like that so i feel like it's very difficult to come to like a social consensus when you don't have everybody agreeing on those foundational principles and i think mm -hmm. even especially like back in the day religion was a great way of being like uh you know where you know roman catholic and they're protestant and like both those societies have that same sort of 
basic foundation that they build mm-hmm. everything it, on top of. It was definitely a, a great herding mechanism for to, to fucking herd the sheep idiots of the world. Yes, I, there's no way to disagree <laughs> with that. Well, see, that's the thing. You, you, depending on how you, you treat it, like, uh, I, I mean, I am totally willing to admit it is possible that long term humanity would do better to, like, dogmatically believe in something like, like Christianity. It is possible that just, like, general people having the belief in this religion will just make humanity do better, like, long term. Whereas it's I possible we might just, like, fall into chaos. Just, but I mean, but, if, it, if it gets results, I'm, you know? If, if it, well, yeah, if it gets results. But, but here's the thing that it, I think guys does, don't yeah. bring up enough is that I have. I have a I put a core fundamental value on the idea of truth. I totally admit that my w- one of the important things to me in this whole argument is truth. I care about what's real and what's not real mm-hmm. for many reasons, including that which I think that it's the way to achieve the best results long term. You know, and I, I admit that that like is kind of up for debate, but I think that it will work out the best long term if we know all the facts, such as there is no God. Uh, like I yeah, all right. Go on. Uh, the- that I I have like a big. It's it's sort of like a maybe Dick. it's a cultural thing. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's also that. But like <laughs> like like it, it, I think it may be a cultural divide where like religion, God, yes, no, uh, the ramifications of society, is not mm-hmm. a big deal in the UK as much, especially not growing up. Like I never met like a crazy mm-hmm. religious person that would um you know, you know it it, mm-hmm. it just feels. Yeah, I I know it can be like terrible, but I just I like this idea in my head of like I believe people can be okay and that you can have a conversation with fucking anybody if you're nice yeah. to them and you don't talk about things that would rile them up. So like I I try to treat people like individually and to and to and to and to grasp and try and like discuss and think about the the social ramifications of an entire cu- culture, civilization, mm-hmm. or world based on like whether you should or shouldn't read a book is just a bit too much I... for for my fucking like scope of my brain to like really comprehend like okay. it's not 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 to comprehend but like it just doesn't seem like a good use of my time to think about whether it's a good idea on such a large scale i'd rather but just the like the fact a... is the people are out there feeling like it is a u- good use of their time and making it a big deal whether you want it to be or not Hi- Hi- Hippo, I, I, I feel I feel the same way. You know, like I like like while I just said that I hate all of this, uh, I do. You know, I, I have a lot of fucking you know religious family that I wouldn't like like I wouldn't say like uh you know crazy fucking snarky atheist bullshit to them because you know I just like them as people and I don't feel the need to rile them up and you know I'll treat them as an individual. I just don't like this idea because like like because like I, I guess it was different in the UK, but you know everyone's religious from where I am coming you, from. You know my family. You know what was least. interesting. And, you, you know, know what was interesting over the holidays. It. Yeah. Uh, sorry. No, sorry. Uh, you know what was interesting over the holidays? Uh, I went back home and was with my family for, for Christmas and whatnot. And, like, there was a moment where I had a conversation with my dad. I, I don't remember why, but, like... I mean, why word, would you ever? <laughs> I- indeed. The word atheist came up. And, like, I was just like, yeah, blah, blah, blah. You know, God's not real, et cetera, et cetera. And my dad, I know, is religious. But then he looked at me surprised and said, wait a minute, are you an atheist? And... <laughs> What was what was weird was that I thought that we had discussed this specifically before, and I don't know if maybe he just was like, ah, he's just feeling this way right now, and and then I unfortunately I I, I just I just like I was like, oh yeah, oh yeah, big time. Oh um, no, oh and, no. Um, <laughs> like the, the the unfortunate thing about that was I feel that in that moment he then began to project everything from the you know sixty or so years of his life about what he had learned about atheists and his like idea of what an atheist is, like he then was like oh now i need to project all this onto my son yeah whereas Dude, see that, it, that's it, exactly I just with identitarianism yeah. right there my, that's it, yeah, exactly that's exactly. exactly my point is like mm-hmm. some people are very judgmental when it comes to mm-hmm. labels mm-hmm. and so i just i just like i try not that's to do labels. that to them i try not to do that to anyone mm-hmm. like that's, I, I, I agree if, if that's the way to do it and they say i'm very religious i'm like oh well i'm not and they go off on me then then they're a piece of shit but I, I'm not going to go away saying, oh, I hate Christians now. Like, it's I, I, just, I, I, it's I, just we're all agreeing with that, Hippo. I don't think any of us would be, like, if someone were to say they are a Christian, we would, like, like fucking, like, block them and run away well, screaming. Yeah, but, like, Some... it's, it's, the same, it's the same thing on just a larger scale to say most of them are you like know... this. Because I've met, like, vicars and stuff who mm-hmm. are just normal, nice people who like the community, and they just, they are good. I... 
I, when they're not stuff. raping I, boys. I, I don't have any opinions <laughs> on Christians as a whole. I, I have it on Christianity and just religion. I, I, no, I, I, don't see, have, I don't know anything about Christians as a whole. That's why. That's why I was. I was careful to say it's I'm not idea, like not anti. I, I actually am anti Christian. But I, I, I'm anti-Christian because I believe that the, I, I have a case to make uh, that the ideas of Christianity are destructive. Like, it's not that I think every Christian is a bad person or any religious person. Of course not. And, like, somebody like Sam Harris likes to bring up for, like, non-destructive re religions like Jainism, for example. Jainism being this religion where, like, violence is, like, the ultimate taboo. So these guys go around in, like, monasteries and they wear masks over their mouth so that they don't accidentally, accidentally inhale a bug and kill it. Because that would be a, a, a grave sin. And, you know, things of this nature. Uh, I find Jainists pretty morally reprehensible, too, because of all the fucking time they're wasting caring about shitty bugs that don't matter. <laughs> so, you know, fuck them. Fuck them. I <laughs> There's agree. no oh, case to I'm remain. totally with you. It's, it's like, <laughs> like what's you. the point? Like, sure, you're not exactly. hurting anything, but what's the point? Who cares just, about a fucking I just, bug? I just hear, I just hear the, the, the same sort of, like, mm -hmm. zealotry in anti-religion that there is in religion. And I know that there's it's, like it's the, funny how uh, atheism has become mm. a religion almost. Yeah, like, that, well, oh, I'm, I'm I not, hate I'm not, that line not, so much. Saying, uh, hey, fuck yeah, 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 yeah. off! I'm not saying <laughs> okay, that. Sorry, I know that there are on. objectively good things about atheism, and and stuff all, and all that. Like that, like I'm not arguing that religion should ever, like if if I if I was to say to someone, I wouldn't recommend any of them to anybody, but I just I think to solve problems in society instead of telling people to stop like doing their thing that gets them really riled up and angry mm -hmm. it's to to control th other things like money like to make well, incentives mm, aside mm. from religion that would like like you know in the UK so many people don't go to church but of course it used to be a very religious place and it's because mm, of yes. like things that just to distract them like technology and and things that they nobody cares anymore like the school system, Henry VIII they... made a mockery of the whole fucking thing by making himself head of the church, and then it was just like, well, I guess this is a joke now, so whatever, we'll just fucking. You know, yeah, do I mean, we I don't want. know whether that's it, but like, it's close enough. The, religion <laughs> will, canon does become pacified in America. It's kind of, kind of, it's kind of big. Yeah, until the so fucking, I don't know how that's going to change, but like, mm -hmm. there's ways to go about changing the world in the way you want without attacking groups of people who are very prone to get angry and mad okay. and violent. You know what? I'm really glad you brought this up because I want to dismantle this argument that I personally am attacking anyone. Who the fuck am I attacking by making an argument that your god is fake and you're a fucking idiot it's for just, believing in him? No, Who it's am not I attacking. Insulting? It's just like common sense. These people, they are very. But it's not uh, to them. They don't know shit. They don't. They believe no, in God. Dude, They're so stupid. That's, that's the whole point. You can't. Okay, you okay. can't approach them so undelicately if you want to change well, that, their that minds about stuff. Establish. Okay. Okay. You know, you know there, there's this, uh, uh, Sam Harris talks to this guy, Majid Nawaz. They've done a bunch of work together. And, and Majid is a former Islamic extremist who, I, you know, a lot of like left-wing people think that he's like a, they call him a fucking coon and shit, like a porch monkey. Because well, he like yeah, is trying they, to, yeah, I mean, they, they really hate this guy because hear, he, hear he dude, is a. Have you heard of the term coconut? I've heard that at pop. Oh, okay. Like that, that makes sense. When, when they're brown on the outside, brown white, on the outside inside. white on the inside. And it's like, oh my brown God. Brown and very hairy on the outside. Yeah. So, you know, makes sense. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> make, makes sense. Makes sense. But. But uh, uh, so like these guys work together. You know, Sam is a, is an atheist uh, who thinks that there's like problems with the fundamental beliefs of Islam. And Majid is a former Islamic extremist who himself like advocated for like the destruction of Western society as a, as a as a young man. But now is like, well, okay, no, that actually is ridiculous. And he's basically an atheist, but he calls himself like a cultural Muslim at this point. Um, and like. Like I, I totally agree. If if I I want, for example, it's it's not specific to them, but for example. I'd like the Muslims, uh, the Muslim community to produce just less terrorists. We can all agree that there are some terrorists that come out of Islam, just like they do from Christianity. The scale might be different, but it happens. And I would like there to be less. And I think one effective means to do so would be to talk to the leaders of that religion and have them, you know, say that like, yeah, you know, uh, this is some bullshit. What we've been talking about, like kill the Westerners and, you know, the women are whores because they don't cover up and stuff. That's the sort of change in attitude I would like. And I would like that to be a first step towards everybody realizing God's not real. Our religion's bullshit. We're all people. Let's just be friends together. That's what I want. That's what I want. So I think you're right, Gib. I think you're right. I don't disagree. Yeah, I, I, I think that like most of this podcast, at least to me, is mm -hmm. all 
basically twenty years old. It's none, absolutely none, true. None of um, it's like none, seven hundred thousand years. Yeah, old. Yes. <laughs> like I, I feel like we're like, like you know, it's been said that uh, the PCP is turning into just fucking you know mansplaining, where we talk about shit that we don't understand. <laughs> and you know, none of us are theologists here, but like this. I was is a just, Christian man. I like I'm fucking like confirmed. We're, we're we're just fucking we're like like ha, like again. There is no other conclusion to come to from this. Um, like 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 we all like none of us like like hippo. I agree with you. We I think we all agree with you. That no one no one hates Christians. This is all just nothing. This is all nothing. We've, we've been said nothing this entire podcast. Uh, we've I, wasted not true. Really you guys, need, show to, doing you guys need to stop. You should stop apologizing for your for your opinion here that religion's ridiculous. I think it's counterproductive to like well, everyone's I'm going not. around these days saying like, oh, it's so tired to say that God's not real. Let's just like lay off it for a That's while. That's not what uh, I'm saying no, at all. That's never, not what I'm saying. Never. Even one. That is it's, it's you and everybody iota. else out there is all like, oh, it's so uncool to. To say that God's not real anymore. No, I, it's cool. It's still cool. It'll always be cool. I, it's so I, I'm still rad, cool. Dude. I, I, I'm, I'm not. I'm, no, I'm not saying that we shouldn't have this discussion. I'm just saying, like, I, this, this is not a commentary on the actual topics of the discussion. It's of the discussion itself, and just that, like, like okay, my, my my conclusion to bring with this is just that. Okay, like, like confirmed, God is uh, wrong. We come okay. to all these well, conclusions. He, I mean, like, I like, make, like, I'm like, gonna, just get I, over I just it. Get with say, the program. I don't think the PCP has ever been about, like, making a change with the topics we talk about. We're just yeah, yeah, yeah. fucking around. We're circle jerking. Now, let me make a case real quick for why you should literally murder every Christian you see on the street. Yes. Okay. <laughs> here's here's what we got. Here's what we got. Uh, because they believe in God, uh, they are willing to oh, uh, kill kill the gays. Uh, they'll kill you if you uh, commit adultery you or are anything. are gay, like we are. It is, your, it is your moral responsibility to kill every Christian you see at any given time, America. So uh, wake the fuck up. Get that axe out. Get it nice and sharp and get to work on the streets. You heard, I want to see mass murder first. by tomorrow. Nate, Nate fucking says, noon. kill the infidel who believes in God. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, do, do any of us have any lingering thoughts about God? Because we, uh, well, actually, uh, better, how many of us grew up religious or, or at oh, least in a religious hardcore, environment? Yes, hardcore, hardcore yes. religious grew up. Um, mm-hmm. what, me what, what, me what and Nate grew yeah. up pretty moderately religious like we would go to church and stuff mm-hmm. but that was like the extent of it and it was then i read taken, death like, note like, we had and it do, all changed we did like first <laughs> communion and we got confirmed at our church and stuff but like yeah i think our church was just real like pretty liberal about it and like i didn't even get the sense that the church even cared that much because heroic God. atheists such as myself have been beating down Christianity for generation upon generation, leaving it the hollow husk that it is now. And we need to do the same to all religions, oh, especially yeah, Janus. Yeah, I will kill every uh, Janus that's out there for being um, unproductive. Uh, my family is not religious, but I did go to a primary school which had a church attached to it called All Saints School, uh, okay. primary school. <laughs> and um, every Friday, I think... We would go in there because we didn't go to school on su- uh, Sundays or whatever. We would go mm-hmm. in there and have like um, we have assembly uh, every morning in the normal hall, and then on the Friday we would go into the church and we would sing hymns and stuff. Oh. Um, but I never got this sense of like any of this was supposed to be taken as real, and and even uh, we had like <laughs> RE, we would have like religious education classes every so Whoa. often talking about. We would talk about. Well, it's not like the Christian stuff. It's just like religion in general. Like let, oh, today well, we're going to oh, learn I, about. I, I, Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. I, okay. Today we're going to b- yeah. learn about yeah. Sikhism and stuff, and then one day, the like mm-hmm. a couple times a year, the vicar from the church, who is like a really tall, he's like seven foot, and he had a big old white beard. He's basically Father Christmas. Sick. He was so fucking cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and everyone loved him. He was like like a paragon Aww. of the co- local community, and he would like read us things from the Bible and tell stories about it. Like he wouldn't just read it; he would like tell a story, and it's like, yeah, dude, this is cool. That's the aesthetic, but then, man. I, I, I just never got the f- the sense that it was real. And then I asked my dad, like, is that r- stuff real? And he says, no. And then I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> so that's, that's my religious Dude. upbringing. There you go. Pretty um, sick. It was my- just a bunch of cool hymns and fun shit and a cool church that I love. <laughs> I, 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 I have a weird relationship with God because while my, I, I was in a pretty I have, I have religious a family. I have a personal relationship with yeah. God. <laughs> I was in a pretty religious family, but like... 
I, I can't remember a time where I thought God was real, even though I went to church and like extensively. I just I just don't even remember a time thinking that. My relationship like 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 I, I was never into God, but at this point, my relationship with God is basically the same sort of relationship I had with my kids after my wife divorced me, after finding her in bed with another woman. Non existent. I, I don't have any lingering thoughts about that. <laughs> even though like I went to fucking like I like I was a church boy. I, I, I went to Awana and shit. I, I just, I just hate it so much. I can't even remember if there was any a time where I believed any percent ever. Uh, I remember not. being he, like, four- much he does the zero percent run on his religious yeah, 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 speed yeah, exactly. running. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. I remember being like fourteen or so and being in the shower one day and just being like, wait a minute, I don't <laughs> think I really believe all this God stuff. Wait a minute! Oh, Touching man. my willy feels so good. It can't be wrong. There's just no <laughs> way this is a sin. It was pretty. You. It was pretty sick. <laughs> did did, uh, did any of you go to Awana? By the way, do any what of you know what that is? Awana. Awana means Jewish family. Thing? I saw that movie in theaters. It was okay. Yeah. <laughs> Awana. I don't know what you mean. Well, here, if, if it's all right, I would like to explain my experience with Awana. If that's all right, if I could just have the floor here for a second. Okay. Oh, oh, a- 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 Awana was this pro this I guess I'll call it a program that my mother enrolled me in to try and reinvigorate my need to go to church, which mm, was never mm. there in the first place, but she was just desperately trying to convert me to become a Christian at this point. But she could tell that, that the light was fading from my Heroic. eyes and, and, and my eyes were rolling back <laughs> my fucking skull. And I, and, I was getting, and I was getting an aversion to crucifixes and the like. Uh, I am a fucking ghoul. It, 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 anyway, so it's at this, it was this like kind of late at night like like seven i keep my it, like the uh, age group for this is i'm like eight or ten or I, pro- probably around eight anyway at seven there would be a church uh you know in, in in my town and i would go there at like every wednesday at seven and here here's i'm gonna break a one into three parts the running around in circles part the killing part <laughs> and then the scary part uh, the the first part was my favorite because it involved th- there is a big circle out in the uh, like field a lawn of the church it's just this big circle and they were, you would play games to warm yourself up into the God loving spirit and the God fearing spe- uh, spirit sorry sorry <laughs> you know to, to get those little kids fucking fearing for their fucking lives with fire and brimstone if they ever it's, uh, it's, uh, you know betray God so basically I would just run around in circles nonstop even when they told me to stop I wouldn't stop because I just loved it so much there was free orange juice. It was great, and every nice. single time I got I got lured into a false sense of security because I just loved orange juice and running around in circles so much that I almost forgot the killing part. So it's like after like 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 twenty minutes of me running around in circles, they would like all right guys, it's time to learn about the Bible, and they would like round us up like like fucking like like break us off into groups so we're easily to, uh, to manipulate and like overpower, and they would lead us into like this <laughs> big like fucking like uh, I guess I would call it like a library part, and they would just like force us for like two hours to just like like do uh, like school assignments and essays on the bible it was a fucking nightmare and everything was dimly lit with candles there were no actual lights there were only candles because i guess that's how they did it back in the day it was fucking (laughs) terrifying and awful and i had to write essays about the bible which at this point i already knew was like i like no no thank you and after that that wasn't even it they forced us to go to fucking like 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 a church you know like into the real church part and just like stare at this fucking priest give like a real ass sermon to these fucking like 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 field sea of children who don't even like know some of the words he's saying that's what one was like for like every week for like five fucking hours for my entire life and uh, it never it never got a hold of me I'm, I'm so happy it didn't uh even though my fondest memories of kid are still running around in circles and i still do that <laughs> to this day in the same spot that's that that sounds rough buddy um, I, I also want to, you know, the reason that I suggested we do religion, it's because I wanted to come clean, guys. Mm-hmm. I, 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 I need to confess <laughs> because I am, in fact, a, a, a secret religious person, uh, more than anyone in the world. See, okay, the reason I have a problem is because I was deeply embarrassed by my own religious beliefs as a child. So now I feel the need to destroy the temple uh, that th- mm. these were founded on. So that's what this has all been about my, my whole life. So when I was a kid, we were in Sunday school. And one fateful day, the teacher of the Sunday school, this lady who I forget the name of, 
started telling us about like, okay, guys, re real shit, my, my little Negroes. Uh, what happens when you're in a situation where someone is using the word God or swearing and you as a good Christian, it makes you uncomfortable? What the fuck do you do? Wait. And I was like, I mean, so this was all new to me that Wait, like th any of this would be a you? problem. Um, probably like 12 or 13 or so. And, and w uh, was this like a quiz? Was this like a pop quiz? Th no, this was just a God. discussion in our little class about like, like w she's just like, okay, real situation, guys. Someone's using God's name in vain. What the fuck do you do? Uh, that's that's what this was presented as, and so I I began to reflect. Uh, oh God, I don't know what to do when the infidel begins speaking the Lord's name. What? what t please tell me. So it was at this point that she's like, "Okay, guys, here's what happens. You calmly, politely go up to this person and say, excuse me, it makes me very uncomfortable that you are using the Lord's name in vain, and I would appreciate it if you would stop doing that. And she would say, and do the exact same thing with our swearing. You go up to them and say, excuse me, I am a Christian, and that kind of language is deeply offensive to me. Please cease and desist this activity at once because you're making me uncomfortable. Okay, this was the argument presented, and this blew me the fuck away. I was like, this is it. This is the answer I've been looking for. Uh, this is what I'm going to be. This gives me power over my peers i can go lambast them for 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 you know all their minor infractions against god and man aka me mm -hmm. uh so here i go <laughs> from this point on i began a year-long crusade against those around me in school and otherwise who would use the word god in any situation and uh who would just swear <laughs> To the, even the slightest degree. I, I, I became that kid, in quotes, that kid, in, in fucking parentheses, I remember, that kid. I remember times in your childhood when you would just mm -hmm. never swear. I remember a years-long period where you would never, yeah. ever swear. I remember it as, dis like, I'm sure that, that went on, but there was a distinct year where I became a, a, a zealot of telling people <laughs> to not swear nor use the name God at, in any context, in any context, you must say the Lord or, you know, just be polite about it. Just you got to say God in like the right context. Yeah. So I just became you I became it. a fucking crusader. I became I, I started my own one man crusade. And uh, just just looking back on it, it's so humiliating to me that I did that, that I swore I would destroy the temple uh, that indoctrinated me into this belief. So that's. Mm -hmm. That's the real reason why I, 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 you see, God is real. I just want to confirm for everybody, yeah. God is real, but I am mad at him. That's why <laughs> I'm an atheist. That's why I am an atheist. That's, that's, this is real. There you go. Okay, so that's, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. Do, do you have a definitive moment when you realized you were not religious? Do, do you have like a, like a moment? I, like, ben shared his. Mm -hmm. I actually, I think what made me, like it, it, what Gibbs said way before about like how people just don't think about it. What what I remember is that like okay, dur when I was sixteen and I was getting confirmed, um, you know, which is like when you go through the confirmation, like the process of like becoming a real Christian yeah. or whatever. Um, you have to like. You get hate. Yeah, uh, like for us, it was like in our congregational church. You like you have a mentor, and you like meet with them and you talk like with you them. You had to beat him in hand to hand combat until you could it, be considered it, exactly. a real Christian. Yeah. I'll always, I'll always remember. I forget the name of the guy, uh, but he oh, called Bro me. Strider. He said he liked me. <laughs> yeah, Bruce was it Strider. Mr. Waterman? Me, yeah, it was Mr. Waterman who yeah, called I, me a I got serious young man. He was my like con confirmation mentor too. Yeah, he was cool. He, he was, was a cool right. guy. I liked him a lot. Um, but at, uh, at the during the process of like going through this thing of like, okay, let's actually think about God. Like, what is he? Like, why do I believe in him? Because I faced those questions, I realized, wait a minute, there like is no reason to believe any of this. Uh, and then I read Death Note, and I was like, well, that's just <laughs> right there. <laughs> it's over. It's over. <laughs> Question answered. Uh, so it was, it was like during, it was when Christianity was put to the test in my life. That's when I realized, like, okay, there actually is really no reason to, like, believe any of this. Uh, Boy, they really, they really didn't right? get the outcome they were looking for there, did they? Indeed. And no, we were, uh, we were a congregationalist Protestant, whatever yeah, that means. Congregationalist. But, uh, Protestant. Which, my, yeah, congregationalist. Which, whenever yeah. I asked mom and dad, what does it mean that we're congregationalist? Like, what is that? They would tell me, but they would only explain it insofar as to explain how we were not Catholic. 
I don't think they, well, that's what it is. I don't think yeah. they understood what congregationalism actually was. They just you know, want, the, knew they wanted it to be a Protestant church, the, and the this problem, was the one in our look, town. The problem with uh, 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 Protestantism and congregationalism, and you know all these other Protestant subdivisions, mm-hmm. is that their whole problem is that they they just they they believe that Catholicism is true. They just hate it. They just don't like it. They mm-hmm. know it's real. They know it's real, but they're mad at it. Well, do you, do you understand what I'm doing? I'm making the atheist argument here. Yeah. That's what I'm doing. They fucking okay. wanted to get divorced that's yeah, yeah. i mean th- th- that it, all right the splintering of christianity because it does not make sense like across the board began long ago with the initial fracturing between you know catholicism and protestantism and i'm sure long before that as well so hey hey you guys know, maybe continues. you shouldn't be allowing people to buy their way out of going to hell yeah fuck the yeah. church oh no what have i done see that's like, why it, if, <laughs> if when worse I'm, I'm an atheist now but if i ever realize if i change my ways and i'm like shit I fucked up. I was I was Roman Catholic, so I can just go in there, throw some twenties at the priest, and I'm yeah golden. exactly yeah yeah. It's yeah. All it is such good. it is such an absurd notion. I honestly think a lot of these people like just thought it was like an obvious joke, mm-hmm. like kind of like flat earthers today. Mm-hmm. Like it's it's either people who are just really dumb and not critically thinking, mm-hmm. or like they like they just think it's a joke that's just gotten out of control. And like I think so many religious people are just the butt of a big joke going on in their face. And I'm like, guys, this is embarrassing. Please just like think about this. What do you like? You're being humiliated okay. publicly I, um, by me right now. I, I feel like this has become like the Christianity podcast. Do you have any like thoughts on other religions? There, um, I kill the other I religions. I I don't. I think they're all. I wouldn't treat any religion different than the other. When I say Christianity, I just mean any religion. Okay, because I, because I am. Um, it's just easier mm-hmm. to I wanted say to talk, than I, any religion. Okay, I, you, yeah. You know, you know, what's a cool religion in the sense that it really isn't a religion at all. Buddhism. Islam. Buddhism. <laughs> Oh, I have something to say about Buddhism. Buddhism's but, 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 all you right. go, but you go ahead. Bud- Buddhism's like a fake religion. Buddhism like pretends to be a religion. But, uh, yeah, okay. Kinda. I mean, I get that there's like different sects of it, and like probably some Buddhists believe different things, and some of them are more like religious about it. But like mm-hmm. the version that I read about, it was literally just like being a Buddhist just means like don't let yourself get sad about the things that make you sad. And that's yeah. like the entire fucking thing. <laughs> like, I, I don't, I, yeah, I don't know anything about it, but all I can tell from like the imagery of the fat guy is yeah. that yeah. Um, one fat guy was really happy and some other people were like, oh, I want to be like that. I want to be happy. <laughs> he was uh, really happy after a period of being really sad. My first so it, girlfriend you know, converted out. to Buddhism while we were dating. I went to like oh, yeah. oh, sh- I don't see yeah. why you would need to convert to Buddhism because, like well, I, say, I it's, guess, it's I guess not a real a strong religion. word. Just, just start. They, she started adopting the principles. I suppose is probably more accurate. Okay, yeah, well, sure, yeah. Phrasing I, th- of th- it. There was a while where I was uncomfortable calling myself an atheist, and I was just like, no, like I, I'm just not into Christianity. I, I I'm into you know God mm-hmm. and stuff. Because, sure. Yeah, I, and 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 by the way, a lot I, of people go through that. Mm-hmm. In, in, in mm-hmm. case you think that was contradictory to what I was saying earlier. This this is in complete regard to how I presented myself to my family. So I wasn't mm, going to say mm. to my mom, "Oh, I, I'm an atheist." I was going to say, "No, no, no, no. I, I'm I'm ju- I'm just a Buddhist. I'm just a Buddhist." And she was like, "Oh yeah, what do they believe?" And I was like, "Uh, you know, <laughs> Buddha. No. Yeah, Some shit. obviously, yeah, Buddha. Yeah. Right? Yeah, no. <laughs> I uh, I love um Hindu temples. Those are like some of the coolest Hindu? fucking places. I've never been to one." I, I think I've been, I've, I want, I went to one, there was, we had, like, um, in primary school still, because it's mm-hmm. All Saints Church, we have a few, like, religious, um, expedition, uh, we, uh, what do you call them, uh, school trips. Trips? Yeah. Yeah. We, w- we went to see a synagogue, I think we went to a mosque at some point, Hoy and vey. a church, okay. <laughs> and, oh, no. and, um, a fucking Hindu <laughs> temple in London, there's, like, mm-hmm. a, one where you can be a Hindu, and it's, and it's fucking, it was so beautiful, it was, like, white marble all the way around and it's so elaborate like and pillars to, to, to and contrast the non-white people yeah they Indeed. love it <laughs> hindus uh hindus are pretty aesthetic religion too i'm quite they fond got of that it. fucking elephant man god like that, yeah that's vishnu really i think good. that's him no it's ganesh yeah, that's a oh ganesh you're right you're right you're right you're right 
Um, okay, well, this is all cool and all, but my favorite religion, I'm just going to say, in terms of aesthetic, I know I'm going to sound like a wee, but it's definitely Shinto. Jesus Shinto is Christ. sick. Shinto yeah. looks awesome. Unacceptable. Uh, what do you, come on, the red, the, those red things of their temples are beautiful, and it's an, oh, my favorite anime, oh my yeah, god, plus, it looks plus, nice. Let's I, I, not forget it looks that the cool, PCP like, guy is canonically a Shinto god. I, okay. Let's not forget that. <laughs> I do not understand what the fuck Shintoism is. I guess it's about, like, there are spirits, there are, like, gods like Native and spirits American shit. in nature, think, and you have to, like, yeah. be cool with them by washing it, your hands a lot. Correct. Correct. That's how I understand it. it it's, it's about the nut boy in the nut forest playing some b-ball <laughs> aka bushido ball well it, yeah i mean it's like ben said it's like i like native americans just like believe that all things have a spirit i i'm not well versed uh, in it but like uh, which is you know, which is which is, which is similar like to shinto but i know in shinto they think that there are like real like like princess mononoke is a pretty de like obviously it's like cartoonized but like it's a fairly decent summary like there's spirits that like live in like forests and stuff and like protect them and by like appealing to those spirits uh, you can, you know, like get favorable outcomes and stuff. I, I mean, I think that's the idea. But it looks so cool. The redness, uh, just the color red yeah, anime being like the Shinto cool. color is sick. It's so cool. Yeah, I really love like the Shinto aesthetic of like the really big sparkly eyes and like colorful hair <laughs> and small mouths and stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Cloud was just the biggest Shinto propagandist of all time when he blew up the fucking Mako reactors. Fuck I, materialism, um, dude. I saw this, uh, I was watching this TV show, which mm -hmm. is like, whoa, what the fuck? TV? It's called Death Note. It had a lot was, of interesting um, things yeah. to say. It was, uh, it was uh, this guy who usually does like a gardening show about like, mm -hmm. and th th you should uh, prune these bushes over the winter months because blah, blah, blah. And it's like mm -hmm. this old like English guy who's like, oh, her, her. and he went, he was going across like um, Middle East uh, places and palaces mm -hmm. to, to look at the the gardens of like kings and Muslim temples and palaces that were built around oasises, because mm. that's like a real such an important thing in a desert. Obviously, is water, and if you have water, the the way you show your wealth and stuff is to plant trees and and bushes and and plants. And it's like, and it was looking around all these Muslim things. I'm like. It's pretty good. I like Islam now. I want. I want to know more about this fucking cool mm -hmm. desert aesthetic because I've known about like the Christian stuff and the Hindu stuff for a yeah. while. But like, I want. I want to go to like a big old mosque and I want to look at all the cool like yeah. mosaic stuff that they I, have. I, I I completely agree. When I, I got super into Islamic and and also unrelated uh, Russian architecture for like. F five years of my life and I would just draw fucking mosques in my sketchbook day in day out because I just thought that like how do you even describe it? The, the, the weird onion-shaped domes on the top of buildings were yeah, just the yeah. coolest fucking thing in the entire world. I just thought they I were the best. I think Aladdin did more for like yeah. positive Muslim vibes than like anything in history, at least in the West. At least the West. Why can't uh, you be more I remember... like a uh, uh, fucking Aladdin, ISIS? Come on. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Where's your flying carpets? Yeah. yeah <laughs> <asshole>. <laughs> no. Why don't Allah give you some fucking magic carpets? That, 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 that's all nice and all, you fucking babies. But here's the big boy answer to what's the best religion? The Aztec mm -hmm. religion? Because it has a god, a oh, god that's fucking a good called Quetzalcoatl. You've seen Maid Dragon 2? I love how thick she is. I love how thick that character is. She's so hot, dude. Yes. Oh, yes. no. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Aztecs and Mayans, they, 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 I love old buildings. Why don't people build cool <laughs> shit anymore? Where's all the rocks Because gone? we They've stopped believing in God. Oh, you're right. Okay, to completely rob the fun from this discussion, uh, okay, let's not forget that, like, Aztecs did perform human sacrifice, and they that should be sick. lambasted. I, we know that it's but, sick and looks okay. cool, but it is morally wait, right. Tell Nate, me who Nate, 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 you wait, 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 come on. Nate, what? you were just, a, but, every day. but every time they <laughs> sacrificed somebody, they were killing someone who believed in God. Well, you're not wrong. There were okay, less you know, people who believed in God as a result of seen, their actions. Have you guys seen The Road to El Dorado by any chance? You probably have. I have. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's, it's the greatest film ever made. N N Nate, breaking out the hardcore killing people is bad. Oh, fuck. Yeah, th I know. Th thanks, Nate, for coming to this okay, discussion the, the, with that. There's this thing we do where we, like, ignore the bad things about stuff and just what? talk about how sick and cool it is, and we shouldn't do that. It's wrong. Well, because are, are you really going to argue that fucking, what? like, because I say that Aztecs killing people 
people is aesthetic as fuck, which we all agree that it is, people are gonna be like, oh, it, the, the, the Aztecs killing people was sick as fuck, well, I'll just kill some people now. Yeah, yeah, yeah just, just kill them now, dude, because this all guy I'm said saying, the Aztecs are all cool. All I'm saying is, there's a lot of murder going on in these video games I've been hearing about, <laughs> and I want them to stop immediately. It needs to end. <laughs> Uh, the, 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 gra the greatest Mesoamerican invention of all time, video games. <laughs> video games. What was what was uh, 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 human sacrifice other than an IRL video game? Mm -hmm. I ask you. Um, they, 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 the they, the they sacrifice of the URL. heart was literally a cheat code. It was literally a cheat to, code to get a good harvest. They all they were all wearing Oculus Rifts during. Yes. <laughs> that was their ceremonial headdress. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, what is what is the afterlife? But a giant video game that we're all <laughs> implored to um to buy like season passes to, to that we're all implored to pre order. <laughs> Make sure we get all the sweet loot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah you're not oh, wrong. It's you're not funny wrong. because it's actually true. <laughs> all, 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 all right, guys, I'm going to queue up for competitive. He says lying down the sacrificial bed, ready to fucking mm. die. <laughs> Oh, but the reason I fucking brought up Road to El Dorado yeah. is because the one thing that is sick as fuck, uh, and I think they did this in uh, like in, in One Piece bitches. as well. Uh, well. The thick bitches are good, but what's better is that like I really like this practice they have when they do the sacrifice. I, I don't know if every culture did it, but I know it was true in some places that like if you were chosen as a human sacrifice, you got to live like the next year as like a prince, and it, you would just be like – you would be like the guy who's like the man or, or the woman or whatever. Like you would be like an honored guest in the civilization. You would be like rich and all your needs would be taken care of. Everyone would fucking love you. You'd be sick as fuck. I'm sure everyone would want to fuck you, you know, in that year. You were like literally made a prince. And then after the year of all this good shit, then you were sacrificed. Like, so like, it's like they honored you and they like made it worth your while sort of. Cause like so a lot cool. of people would never get this shit. Like, I read that the Hunger Games. Cool. That is sick. I read the Hunger Games. I know what that's all about. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's right. That's right. I know, you, I know, you get, I know your district bad. gets fed for the year. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. That's cool. <laughs> fucking Naden is like fucking the... Shintoism. Jesus Christ. <laughs> the Spanish sexy. Inquisition's way cooler than Shinto, that's, and they're also no. red. Yeah, they yeah, are, yeah, they yeah, are yeah, yeah, guys. My favorite religion, the Spanish Inquisition. Yeah, it's my that's <laughs> a real good religion. It's not a religion. You know what? <laughs> yeah, it was, it was so thing. aesthetic. Spanish... Everyone wore red. Um... <laughs> They what all else? wore red. They all are. I worship. I worship Monty the Spanish Python. Inquisition. Also, the Holocaust. You know, these <laughs> yeah, are yeah. just. I worship human tragedies specifically. Like each of them individually. Oh, it's like it's like I'm playing Fate Stay Night over here, and all of my all of my oh all of my, my avatars are spe are specific <laughs> tragedies that happen. You know, mm -hmm. human sacrifice, the Aztec civilization, the Holocaust. Uh, you know, bronies. These are all individual. <laughs> you know, we, we have even discussed my the pantheon. best part of the Aztecs is that mm -hmm. when they when they when they kill an enemy. A unit, they get free <laughs> bonus anime uh, culture points. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. That is good. They can yeah, get a free social policy every time they kill a fucking <laughs> enemy unit. That's great. That's incredible. Fucking yeah. top tier threat. Incredible. I fucking love Eagle Warriors. Those are the best units in they the game. They literally good for scouting Dude, I on. love Dark Templars. You can't even <laughs> see them when they're out there. It's sick. It's fucking ridiculous. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, you built, build, better build a fucking observer, uh, asshole. Mm -hmm. Guys, why are we talking about this game when we all know Undertale is better? <laughs> he's, he's right. Oh, he's right. I'm just going to say, uh, they literally gave the Pope a copy of Undertale because it's did? the most oh, important, no. oh, impressive, true. amazing Someone video Matt game. Pat. Fucking Dude, MatPat gave him a Steam key Matt Matt to, for Undertale. A Steam key. D d oh, did it, didn't after the Pope was given Undertale, didn't he like write like a blog post or however they do in the Catholic Church about how like video games are evil? Did, didn't, <laughs> didn't that happen? I'm, I'm pretty sure that's real. No fucking way. No it's, fucking way. It's because way. he didn't like the Undyne got with Alphys. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I told you. Uh, it was a forced character pairing. That doesn't make sense. Pa pa says Papyrus the Pope and in Latin. <laughs> yeah, that's what he was saying. <laughs> he throws his copy of Undertale yeah. across the, uh, the, the chapel. Oh. Oh, oh no. we haven't talked about the best part of fucking religion, which is in the Simpsons game for Xbox 360, the ending mm -hmm. fucking final level is you go and meet God, and the final battle is you have to, this is completely removed from the rest of the gameplay mechanics of the mm -hmm. entire game, you have to play DDR with the Xbox 360 <laughs> controller D-pad, and it never okay. works because it's so unresponsive, so I died like 70 fucking times in that final level with God, where I had to beat him at playing Rocky like a hurricane. It was the hardest video game Whoa. of my entire life, and I fucking hate it that's why you know, god is real this is that, that is excellent it just reminds game. me uh, at the end of drakengard 3 
Like, you kind of, like, it, it, it actually, it's, like, it's an action RPG game, but at the very end, like, the final battle where you are a dragon trying to slay, like, the, the combined unity of, like, all the gods of the world slay. you live in. Slay. It, it, yeah, you slay queen. Yeah, you literally <laughs> slay these queens. These, these, these yes queens. These presidents. Um... Uh, who shattered the glass ceiling, and now you're you're here fixing it, patching that motherfucker up. Uh, you you are I a proud sleep. male dragon MGTOW who plays <laughs> DDR to kill them. That is how you win the game. That is the final battle. Uh, it's a sick DDR match that uh, is incredibly difficult, and I did it, uh, and it was it was so sick. It was great. Uh, good game, fun game. Uh, I've got a question. Yeah. I've got a question about uh, video games. Uh, okay. what is AKA favorite, my religion. What is your mm -hmm. favorite fake video game religion that you've seen in a game? Good question. Oh. You know what I really love? I love, uh, it's kind of Fuck. a cop-out, but in Final Fantasy Tactics, there is, uh, it's called the, the Church of Zoltana, I believe, that is basically a 100% parallel for the Catholic Church. But in that vein, it has sick demons, it has summons, it's got a bunch of evil stuff, it's just as corrupt and manipulative as the Catholic Church was, like, throughout, uh, you know, medieval times and whatnot, and it's, it keeps the sick Catholic aesthetic. So, I, I'm gonna say that one. My favorite religion is the one laid out in The World Ends With You, because after you die, you get mm. to be a hip Japanese teenager, and you get to hang mm. out in the trendiest part of Tokyo. That's pretty sick. <laughs> if only the all ultimate reward. The yeah, ultimate yeah, yeah. reward. <laughs> I, I don't want to have eternal salvation. I just want to be a hip, trendy hipster and oh, hang out in the, the coolest clubs in Tokyo. Uh, why, would that, of, why would anyone uh, want anything else? Ben, just uh, I don't know if you've heard about this. Have you heard they are making a remastered version of The World Ends With You for Nintendo Switch? Are you aware of this? Uh, No. It's got new shit. It's got a new character. Um, it's gonna be something. Um, All right, just throw that out there. That's pr okay. But that's pretty cool. Literally every single mm -hmm. best guy ever video is sponsored by Nintendo. Everyone. <laughs> no, I'm good. I am good. Okay, go on, Munchie. What's your favorite religion in video games? I I don't play video games. I don't. What? Single, single player games are a fucking cancer that I could oh, never yeah. slog through. I hate fucking them. CS I, I Go would... is a way better use of your time. Yeah. Over here. Fucking TF2. A uh, hat swap literally, simulator sounds like literally. a ball. Be, be, because, because those games you can play with other people, which is the only reason I would even wake up in the morning is to be with other people. I don't want to fucking play like an RPG. I don't care about like Final Dude. Fantasy. No, uh, no uh, thanks. The, 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 okay, you know what? I take it back. The best religion in uh, any video game is the one that the main character of Hatred, not important practices, <laughs> where he's out there murdering everyone. Uh, that's mine. That is what I believe and uh, do. Well, I think... I think uh, the best religion in video games is the Juggalo religion from Homestuck. Oh, oh right. no. <laughs> Not because Homestuck. it's funny and it makes me laugh. That's all. I don't actually oh, yeah, have Homestuck anything is my to favorite say. Video game. Let, let's let's cut to the fucking chase. Let's, let's finally get this actual topic started. We've been procrastinating for an hour and three minutes. It's okay. time to get to the real meat and bones of this topic, spirit science, and how yes. it reveals the entirety yes. of the human history and how to live your life to the fullest extent. Dude, my Merkaba is fucking shining yeah. right now. It's glowing. <laughs> okay, go. When, when I, when I, whenever someone like like mentions Lemuria, my fucking chakras <laughs> get so fucking blitzed I send to another plane, and, 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 and I rip a hole in fucking space time so all of the uh, lower dimensional spirits just spew out from my fucking body and inhabit all the souls of the people around me. Dude, you're being so you're being so Martian right now. You're being so male brain right now. It's fucking blowing we're, my mind. We were so right brained. We just couldn't fucking activate our chakras. At Atlanteans, anymore. Atlanteans are on suicide watch right yeah. now. <laughs> dude, dude, dude. Literally, like the like the reason Hitler killed all those Jews because because he knew they were Two. aliens and it, he yeah. watched the fucking history channel he knew dude he knew he had to get rid of these unearthly beings there look i'm not gonna say way. hitler did everything right but that was one thing he did do right yeah, it had yeah, to be yeah. done the aliens had to be excised okay uh, it, uh, on, on the actual real point about secret science uh, my mm -hmm. mom literally believes that uh, th th oh th no this oh is, this no is the, this is the reason i came on the podcast uh, as as identified by the fact that on the pcp sign up like spreadsheet thing we have uh yes. it just says my mom where my name Yes, that's correct. Uh, that's my correct. mom, for the past, like, two years <laughs> at this point, whenever I enter the car with her, she'll have an audiobook playing. And without <laughs> fail, it's always about the law of attraction. Nothing else. Just Whoa. the law of attraction. Like she, like gravity? 
Is that what that is? No, Nate. No, no. It's the do you one not that, know like, about the law of attraction? I, I, please explain no. it to me. I oh my fucking god. god! I'm a child. Prepare, prepare to get school. You need, yeah, to, you need to lecture us on, on the spirit, down. I, the I, spirit yeah. science stuff because I, 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 I still, I, I couldn't get through those videos. There's so many of them. But, They're but, but believe me, hippo. I'll give you and everyone else a lecture on spirit science sooner oh. or later. Oh, <laughs> wing. Uh, yeah, <laughs> excellent. Any, anyway, uh, the law of attraction is... Uh, it, it's kind of hard uh, to put into words without sound, making it sound fucking retarded, because it is retarded. But imagine... <laughs> imagine that you really want... Uh, you, you, you really want a cool hat. Uh, then if you hmm. just think with all of your might, I really, like, 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 I will get a really cool hat. Oh. I will manifest a really cool hat. It will be great. There's no way this can't happen. That's the, the shit un- from The Secret. That's yeah. The yeah. Secret, yeah, right? Exactly. Yeah, it's okay. The, right. the universe will hear your call and give you a really cool hat, no questions asked. Why do people believe this <laughs> shit? What is happening? You know, you know you- what the thing about that is? Is that that can kind of, that can kind of, yeah. like, disguise itself as a real thing because if someone mm-hmm. wants to challenge it on a metaphysical level you can mm-hmm. backpedal and be like oh well no no you see because if you're thinking about it you're more likely to take actions that will lead that's to it the and right. like, it's well, all just okay, psychology. I guess so but that's not mm-hmm. really what it is like that's that's, that's not pretense. what the real argument for this law of attraction is they're arguing yeah. that your thoughts have some sort of psychic yes. resonance throughout the universe that when will... they say like Which they oh, obviously you to, do you yeah, need yeah. to like get to higher vibrations or whatever I'm like what the what? fuck is why is everything what? a fucking vibration what we're doing is we're, we're, we're channeling our fucking kundalini so it's snake ton hisses really fucking I got, loud. I gotta, so I, the higher dimensional I, beings will hear our call and actually project a fucking a manifestation of whatever object or desire we want Munchie, and bring I gotta, it to our uh, dimension. I got a cunnilingus delini for you right here, my friend. All right, listen, <laughs> listen, listen. When I hear someone say they believe in God, like, I'm not happy about it, but I'm like, okay, you know, <laughs> I- I'll forgive you. This yeah, time, this one but, time. But, like, when I hear someone just, like, and you, they always do it, like, apologetically and on the side. They're like, yeah, my, my crystals, you know. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> when, I, when I hear that shit, my fucking ears perk up and my soul goes full male Martian. I go yeah. full yeah, rain. Yeah. It's like, full what? Right brain. Full you, perform, right you perform the Satan experiment. or the Lucifer yeah, yeah, experiment yeah, 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 right yeah. then and there. I just, I, 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 I say to them, what did you just say to me, my friend? Because <laughs> they never want to defend this shit. Did you just use the shit. Lord's name in vain? <laughs> it brings me right back yeah, to those yeah, days. Yeah, yeah. I become the crusader. Yeah. Oh you my know, God. That, that sort of reminds me, like that's the way I think and treat people who say, yeah, I mean, I believe in ghosts. Like, it's yeah, never a religion yeah. thing. It's always no. something like ghosts. What? Ghosts are cool. But th- it's not about cool. cool I... It's about real. No. It's a, yeah. <laughs> no. Well, okay, okay, okay. If someone was like, I believe in ghosts, I'd be like, man, one idiot. But then I would also, on the same hand, be like, dude, I know. Ghosts are so fucking sick. Let's compare our ghost notes. I would just, I would just <laughs> give it to See, I, I, I can't. I, I can't. But okay. But like when someone, uh, like the, the whole God thing, like the, the entire world is engulfed by belief in God. So like, I get and it. Like this well. person. Yeah. And, 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 you know, to, to some degree, you're not wrong. So like the world is is religious i'm working to fight against it every fucking day i but i get it i get it <laughs> but when i hear someone bring up like oh yeah you know can, 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 can my crystals with me just you know yeah. they had to actively guy. seek that out and subject it, themselves it, it, to like that it, it is of, uh, it just tells me they're on a next level they're you know, on maybe the next they need level. those crystals nate maybe some For people what? need their maybe some they people find comfort crystals? Crystals. They, yeah crystals. these people just keep your jail crystals at home people where i keep mine i don't bring them up in casual conversation with people i meet on the street like you do like what what is the argument here? Like God, the people have made really like, oh, okay. God has been like backed into a corner so fucking hard by rational arguments. They're like, okay, there's no proof. So God, okay, God's like a rabbit animal literally. backed into a corner and we yeah. don't know what he's going <laughs> to do next. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> but the crystal shit, like what is the fucking argument here? And what is your oh, reason for believing? Is. Okay, I go know ahead. what it is. Is, mm-hmm. is they play too much Crash Bandicoot and they think crystals uh, actually have power. Uh, they play too much Final Fantasy. They're like, I yeah, knew, crystals I knew are I real, man. I should smack that controller out of her hand when I had the chance. My mom's <laughs> too far gone now. She's always talking about fucking Bandicoots and groovy things. It, it's, Look, I, it's too I, much. 
I'm not. I'm not saying that women shouldn't play video games, but I am saying gamer but girls this are. This is what happens when they do. Far, gamer girls are far more susceptible to the to the yeah. insidious nature of of the crystal indoctrination yeah. of so many video games. That's the, why so many girls love Final Fantasy. The, mm-hmm. I, I feel like it's important to chart the progression of how my mom got here. If, if that's okay. all right, my sure. mom. My mom grew up in, in like in the deep south and was a you, you know some sort of like you know, denomination mm. of Protestant with a really strict household. And mm-hmm. then, like, you know, l- later down the road when I came along, she tried to get me to become a god person as well. And so mm-hmm. it culminated in one Easter where Unfortunately I, for her, you instead became yeah. a god, yeah, which yeah, was not yeah, part exactly, of the plan. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I became too powerful. <laughs> anyway, one Easter, after a sermon was over, I was like, I said to my mom, Mom, churches are really scary. God, mm. the mm. Bible, it's scary. It's scary, aesthetically pleasing, scary things. It, it, it's like the, same, like the same situation I get like looking at, at the Bible or a crucifix is like, wow, what, what, like Dracula? Like Frankenstein's monster? Like, those are scary things. Ooh, ooh, oh, horror. Uh, and, and she, like, I, I feel like I've mind break doge in my mom by saying that the <laughs> Bible is scary. Because after that day, she, 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 she like... It, it's weird. Like, like she'll always like insinuate that I am a hardcore Christian for some reason, which Ugh. I don't understand. She, like, mm-hmm. even though I, I've clearly told her that I'm not, she will just insinuate that I am. And then she yeah. has like gone to this weird, fucking awful spiral into fucking insanity. I, I've talked about her like high saturation Jesus art, like ar- artifact mm-hmm. shit JPEGs. Mm-hmm. That she has all around her room. She has a ton <laughs> of like weird, awful like chakras and fucking like rocks. She goes. To sermons I, the, the reason the reason i fucking visited ben was because my mom already had like a plane ticket to go to atlanta for a fucking weird crystal seminar that's the reason incredible. i went for it was, Whoa, it was a weird fucking crystal seminar now we're she, talking. She, like she, like she started out as like a normal Christian, which is still bad. But then, she, like, due to the fact that I, like, told her that, that the Bible is scary, she had like a weird fucking like mid mid religion crisis, and fucking like like just googled like how, like how do I make God more interesting? And then she just fucking <laughs> added some like sp- special herbs and spices into her fucking God There's, brew, uh, and fucking just... jammed out to this bullshit that is not real. It's just turtles all the way down yeah. with this kind of stuff. There's no foundation here upon which all this is built. And uh, if, just... if I'm wrong, please give me the evidence. I mean, I mean, I is the it. goal that, like, does she just want to make sure you're a good Christian boy and your soul is safe and everything? Is, is that she, the, is that the she, goal she's here? Not, she's not trying to convert me. She just, like... Like, like she doesn't bring it up. It's just that it is so integral to her being that I can't avoid it. Like I said, whenever I enter the car, she, it, she'll be playing an audiobook, and then and then I'll just like put it in headphones, and she'll be like, "Oh, I know you don't like the stuff for whatever reason. Uh, yeah, I'll, mm-hmm. I'll I'll turn I'll turn on the radio for you, you fucking heretic." And I'll just be like, oh, "Mom, I just, uh, just, just want to go to Chipotle." To, to just to just put out the olive branch to all religious people, like religious people, when they're when they're sincere, which m- many of them are, uh, m- most of them, probably many the vast majority. Oh, oh, sure, Ma- a few of them actually believe this <laughs> shit. Well, it, oh, it's a, it's a matter of logical conclusions, but like. I, I, they, they want what's best for everybody for the most part. They're like, guys, like, like what you were saying, Munchie, be, just the, like the fact that religion is weird and scary, at least like Catholicism is, mm-hmm. um, like just because it's scary and that they argue hell is real, that itself, of course, is an emotional argument that does not make it untrue mm-hmm. in no way just saying that it's scary. What, like if it's real, it's the most important thing to get sorted out in your yeah. life, or else yeah. you will go to hell forever and be tormented forever. Well, and of course, yet another reason to believe that not, God is not in fact evil. if you evil. actually, it's it's time for a fucking tangent. It's time for a mm-hmm. fucking tangent where I explain just how much just how much pleasure I get out of mm-hmm. out of knowing that like the hell that everyone believes in is liter- has literally no resemblance to the hell actually described in the Bible. Oh, Do you guys please. know about this? Is Do you that guys true? Know that, like, no, no, I don't know. Okay, well, like the hell, the heaven and hell and stuff that you see uh, that people go to in Looney Tunes, mm-hmm. um, like where you die and then if you're bad you go to hell and if you're good you go to heaven and there's some people. And, 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 that and is, hell is all like red and there's like a lot of fire and stuff. Like, like okay, like like the Bible is fiction, right? But that is like double fiction because that's like a mm. fake interpretation of something that's already fake. Um, the way hell actually works, as I understand it, according to the Bible, it, it, like prepare to get your mind blown. Um, mm. What actually happens is that when you die. You're dead. Like, you're not... You don't go anywhere. You are just dead, and you are dead mm. in the ground corpse. 
um, until um, the book of Revelations apocalypse happened and Jesus comes back and then the dead are resurrected on earth. There is no heaven dimension that you go to. You are resurrected on earth and Hmm. then Jesus and God and whatever, they judge everyone and there is a hell, but hell is basically they just dig a big hole on earth. And hmm. bad people get thrown into hell, and they is do that not. The lake they, of fire that's mentioned in the Bible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, but they do okay. not burn there forever. They burn there for like, huh. like the worse that they were, the longer that they burn for as like punishment. But then ultimately they're obliterated, like they're just gone. <laughs> How and then reasonable. the good people How that reasonable. are saved, they they go to a shining city, like the heaven that they are going to is a city on earth. I hmm. see. How fucking neat is that? Is is this all in the that's Book of Revelation? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, okay. I mean, I'm not an expert, but that's my understanding of what the Bible heaven. actually says happens to okay. like, Wait, good so and bad people. Wait, so in this actual interpretation, there's no like after like life at this point. Like everybody who's dead, they're the just sword dead. Is yeah, now. they're just dead. They're just yeah. dead. They're so not even they're now, not in a better even, place. Even all the religious people who say like you know like oh like mom's in a good better place and she's looking down on me. Like, not if just, the Bible has anything. They're in Bible stasis right now. My dad. My dad is. I know my my dad has said that like he looks forward to meeting his, you know, people who have passed on in the afterlife. It might have been a while. Maybe that's dated information from the guy, but he has said it. And I I guess there's just literally no basis for it. But like, it's just what everyone believes, even though it's not what the book says. The the Mm -hmm. crux of everything of this entire thing. Like, that's the only really reason religion still has any sort of place in modern society with all this, this science and technological progression proving like the ancient myths or whatever religion like, has been beaten back from right. every area where the science only reason, can the touch. only reason it still has any sort of hold on anyone is because we're mm-hmm. all afraid of death and this Indeed. is like the way you cope with it is like well when i die i'm not actually exactly. dead. exactly that's the well, only exactly. reason it still has any sort of sway on ben. anyone at all a a you're afraid of death and you don't want to be nothing when you die also you're afraid of not ha- not knowing what to do with your life and the Indeed. religion Indeed. gives you like Direction. What yeah. B- B- ben, are, are, are you saying that the afterlife and hell and heaven and all of the eternal afterlife or suffering that you could experience in religion is the is the equivalent of no whacking voices and vinyl scratch? It's just pure <laughs> fan, but everyone agrees with it. Uh, um, yeah, actually, like everyone, oh everyone God. just everyone's just going with it, even though it has no basis in reality. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> that was good to me. Wait. Well, I remember no whacking. Dude, shout, out, shout out to no whacking. If you're listening to this, we want you on the show. We <laughs> want we you know on you the are. fucking show. I, yeah, I, yeah. I, I asked her. I asked her if she wanted to go out with me at BronyCon, and what? she said she was. And she said she was a lesbian. And I was like, all right, cool. <laughs> Ben, <laughs> is this a real story? Yeah, that That's really, real that story. really, oh my god, insane! Oh my I mean, god. I knew she wasn't gonna say oh yes. Oh my god, you almost dated Vinyl Scratch. I know, what the I know. fuck? <laughs> he he almost dated her. I have to. I have to look at you. <laughs> yeah, it was like it was, it was, it was like could have right gone either way. Could have gone we either were, way. It was yeah. right there. It was it was a coin toss. Exactly. Exactly. A mere twist of fate settled this matter. This time against Phantom Horns favor but next time but next it's time insane we should, have, we should have a BronyCon stories we should, oh, a BronyCon of... reunion cast it's I, I, time to get the gang back together guys and I, I launch our new Christmas album we literally have hundreds of stories from BronyCon we could literally do that we, we yeah we could um, oh what yeah, if we, we got that Raven cosplayer back on the PCP Remember Dude. that, guys? Oh my God, be incredible! Jesus that was Christ. she was good. You we mean, can we can uh, do it mean, uh, through um, yeah. What's her name? The big you, one. It was just a. It, she no, was just it, some girl was, sitting like oh, there was a, there was a time oh, when we were all oh, sitting in our thing. Voice actor, never mind. Whoops. Oh no no, fucked yeah. up. Not not Tara, Tara Strong. Strong. Tara I, Strong. I, I take Tara Strong in the PCP though. Shout out to Tara Strong. Yeah, <laughs> you come on the PCP if you're listening. Come on the PCP. Yeah, yeah. Um. I, well, do you have anything else to say on the topic of religion? I, I feel like we didn't have anything to say in the beginning, oh, so I don't know. Wait, if we wait, wait! I, I, I have, have I have something to say. Um, mm-hmm. I, I didn't know when to say this. I'll bring it up now. I did start mm-hmm. a religion uh, a oh, little good. bit. <laughs> oh, I, see. I mean, okay, I say that, but it was a really half-hearted effort, and like, <laughs> I, I went and I looked into it a little bit, and. I, re- I remember it being a bigger deal than it was. It's kind of embarrassing to even mention. All I did mm-hmm. was make a Facebook group describing a new religion <laughs> and, like, see if I could get people to join it. Oh, um, it's funny you mention this. I, tr- I attempted to do this at one point as well. 
it was mm-hmm. i don't really remember that much about it i okay i remember that it was called the church of transubstantialism um, okay and i oh well actually i think i remember the basic tenet the basic tenet of it is that um reincarnation is real but there's only like one soul in the universe and that and you are that one soul like reincarnated throughout time and you will eventually be re-reincarnated as every living thing that has ever existed oh I see. that's kind of like oh. the theory where there's one electron that exists everywhere like, simultaneously yeah yeah, yeah. That, that, mm-hmm. that's that's like lord english that's lord english, right dude. yeah so i thought yeah. that was pretty neat so i made a facebook group saying it was a religion and i got a couple <laughs> people to join it and i felt pretty smug nice. about that i was like hey i don't even believe it <laughs> Shit. Yeah, um, my, my my religion was totally different. I, I never ended up making a Facebook group or anything because I don't touch Facebook. But the whole idea was yeah. I was I was super pissed off at the fact that like religions have exemptions for everything in society, and yeah. so mm. I was like, if I can't beat him, join him. I wanted to craft a religion that was specifically designed to fuck over the government and abuse that exception constantly like the whole basis of the faith was that like everything you ever did everything you ever made was for god and god alone and no one else had the right to take it from you until you offered it to god upon your death so like Mm -hmm. you were exempt from taxes you're exempt from like all this crazy shit and the whole doctrine was just like how to dodge every legal (laughs) obligation you had in life (laughs) it's just like a big like book of legislation what was the name Uh, it never i never got so far to give it a name um you should call it fuck the government yeah reason. yeah I, mean, I feel i feel it's a little on the nose might might make it easier to <laughs> how about, detect what about what about gimmick. what about tax exemptionism that's a pretty good you know <laughs> it just, I, or just exemptionism. it should be like tips for door it, yeah, exemptionism it's, it's such a it's such a uh i think i want to uh, if you'll concept. accept it tom let's call it exemptionism and make that the official like uh, let's let's apply that exemptionism to the sounds almost like it could be a real religion. it does it does it I'll, does I'll, I'll accept that as the official religion of the pcp excellent all right yeah the church of exemption here up, we are dude. start that Guys, up right are... now fucking hashtag that and shit. J- just so you know the pcp is the official uh keepers of the religion we are the popes we speak to god directly we are the popes nine i i dub the all my high priest of exemptionism. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Tom. We're, um, we're, we're, we're ideologically opposed to paying any of the fees associated with Patreon, Kickstarter, YouTube, uh, everything. <laughs> it's, all, it's all because everything we make is for God, and, and we shouldn't have any false idols. And to give away any of the fruits of our, our labor to anyone other than God, and since we are our, our own temples for God, by giving it to ourselves until we meet our maker and give everything we've created to them, Indeed. in the meantime, we have to hold on to everything. Because Which incidentally uh, functions. Uh, we we we're heavily inspired by the ancient pharaohs, where we need to be buried in giant tombs with all our possessions. Exactly. So please, government, do not take them. This is part. of The pyramid is our symbol, and the dollar is our uh, <laughs> also symbol. Yes, yes. I, I've just created a new religion just now called grind jealousism. Grind <laughs> jealousism, and the longer, like, like for for, say you have a scooter or a skateboard. For as long as you grind, oh, yes. that time is equal to the time you have in the afterlife. So you're simply oh, to grind as much as possible. And I'm gonna fire up Tony grind, Hawk right now. Yeah, <laughs> exa- exactly. So 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 so, so you, the real devout members will fucking grind day in day out. So they just accumulate the afterlife points. So Dude, here's so what I'm gonna be doing. It certainly does. I'm gonna, I'm like gonna fire grind. up my Wait, fucking PS but Vita. That's, but that's such a raw deal because you have mm. to spend all that time. You're wasting that same amount of time grinding now. Well, unfortunately for you, Ben, it's just true. So you better yeah, get. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, <you know. laughs> Bummer, dude. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I say with uh, my new my new uh, skater lingo that yeah, I'm adopting saying, to please the god. Tabbing over to Amazon.com. Yeah, <laughs> tabbing over to buy the hot new skateboard. Uh, yeah, yes, yeah. exactly. Uh, with PCP branding on it, of course, of course. Dude, uh, we should literally get a PCP brand skateboard and sell that on some place. We should. And what was do it? That. Gr- the grindology. I forget what it was. Uh, grind jealousism. Grind, grind jealousism. jealousism. Excellent. Well, we've got two new religions for you to choose from. They're both 100% accurate and represent reality completely fully. So, so there you go. You can uh, now have a religious and, war in the PCP. And remember, <laughs> don't limit yourself to just one box. So do them both. All right. yes, <laughs> Indeed. Please, please. You can patron us twice with two accounts. Yes, so please always, do so. You're always free to have a personal relationship with God, however you <laughs> see fit to divide that and, out. And remember, guys, if you want something, you'll get it. No matter <laughs> what. That's the secret. 
In, mm-hmm. Indeed, that's the secret. So that's the church the of code. grind, jealousism, and the church of exemptionism. Both. All right. Well, we got. I just want to point out in in a, in a exemptionism, whatever you just said, it fucking mm. was. Uh, yeah. Did, when when you when we say that that you're not allowed to, to 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 give anything to anyone else, that's that's forcing. You're you're allowed to to give freely. So go to patreoncom slash procrastinators <laughs> exactly. and give give to the donation box of the high priests, and uh, you'll be rewarded greatly. It's it's the only way to make the, sure your money the goes to the cause worthy of it in the afterlife. <laughs> Indeed. Yes, unless uh, bonus episodes are your jam. In those cases, oh, those. you know what? We should make an yeah. exemption. Like, obviously, you want all your goods uh, in exemptionism to like be with you when you die. But mm-hmm. there is a, there is a clause where if you funnel it up the pyramid towards the top of the exemptionism <laughs> church, that's acceptable as well. So yes. you send it straight to us via Patreon. Exactly. And you're still gold. You're ha- still ha- gold. Hashtag PC pyramid scheme. Mm-hmm. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. All right, guys. I Incredible. think we've done it. This is excellent. I, I think we, we've, we've really solved covered religion. We, this is finally like the 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 end stone to end all religion discussion. There is literally nothing that can be this, argued here. This is the mm-hmm. end of the discussion. This, it, it, it was over before it even fucking started. So we're finally at the moment. I see another person even mention God's name in vain. I mm-hmm. will obliterate them, as we've proven that that is <laughs> antithetical we, to we can, all sense of morality or ethical. We, we can all finally stop we're, we're all finally free yeah. um we, 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 we can, we can end mm-hmm. this tired charade yeah fantastic well let's uh let's shift on over to those questions familia Excellent. uh so, can so you please he, give he, the, the, the twitter uh pity question the the, the one twitter quit a pity question here all right, everybody. Let's 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 check out what we got here. Let's pull up some hashtag Ask PCP questions for our for our lowly non patroning uh, viewers out Fucking there. Disgusting. Let's see what we got. Uh, what, did, 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 mm, okay. Uh, Xtreme Forty Two asks, "What's your process for watching a YouTube channel? Do you go by playlists chronologically, or just watch whatever you deem interesting?" Um. Uh- I, if if it's in series, I like to I like to watch by playlist. Like usually, mm. I'll just click around. If I find a new channel, I'll just click like the recommended videos and click around until I start to feel like I really love this like this whole thing. And then usually, I'll seek out a playlist and like mm-hmm. go through it and watch but, all the stuff that I haven't seen already. Yeah, when I when I I, I I see a new channel. I watch the recommended videos. Same thing. But when I feel like I really like it, I go to the very first yeah. video and then watch the whole S- backlog. S- same as Hippo. Um, I, I I've actually been doing a really weird thing as I think I discussed in in my in my own time here. I've been watching a lot of Hello Internet because I want to uh, catch up on that because I've never inter- entertained that before. And I've been mm-hmm. doing it in a really weird, awful roundabout way where I've been like slowly eating away at it from either side i've been watching like 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 the latest episode and then like one of the first episodes and i've been going back and forth like that and eventually i'll reach somewhere in the middle and that will be the last episode i watch and then i'll just move on forward from that (laughs) i don't know how this has started but i can't stop it and it's fucking awful so that's the way you don't do it I've been meaning forever to like actually watch the angry video game nerd, and like I feel uncomfortable just like jumping in. So I want to start are. from the beginning. I I know it's just it's yeah. just a problem yeah. to not be watching already. I, I don't know for for, for, for uh, he's got sort of like a narrative and a crafted show. So like for a show like that, I want to start from the beginning. There's, there's no narrative yeah. between there's episodes. Just, there's just like no? kind of like memes and stuff. It's kind of like if you it's, if it's you, just if you jumped into the PCP like at this episode and we're talking about Merkabas and Christ consciousness. Like yeah. You, you you wouldn't know the build up that makes those so funny and why That's we're all thing. laughing That's our the asses thing. off. I, I, mm-hmm. I, I, there's a few things like like LJN. He doesn't he doesn't explain that every single time. Right. You yeah, just no have to like is. know the the. Uh, the mythos at some so point. So it, it's like best watched from the start if you want the agree. optimal experience. Yeah. So that's that's my plan. Yeah, for that. it would be but very was, interesting just to see how badly that has aged because it's so true. long ago. I've true. I've watched all of them quite recently, and mm. some of the earlier ones are they, they've never been that good. Mm-hmm. But there's like like ten or so episodes, and they start becoming classics. Okay, that's good. That's not I, too. The bad. first I've one I watched trying... was The Power Glove, and that will always be 
close hmm. in my heart. <laughs> I, I I remember. I, I, this will show my fucking A's here. I remember in fifth grade finding the angry video game nerd, and then like like on my way home from school, talking to my friend, and like because we both watch it. And in fifth grade, I was like, you know, all it does really is just swear a whole bunch. I don't know if this is really the highbrow <laughs> content I'm hey, looking for hey, in fifth hey. grade. <laughs> I I um I. <sighs> God, yeah, boy, I, I started watching. At some point, I was so bored. I just I, I put on Angry Video Game. I watched like the entire series of Angry Video Game Nerd as a playlist. And at the end, I was like, man, I'm a glad I didn't have anything better to be doing. Yeah. <laughs> Sick. Uh, um, what a shame. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah, it, I was yeah. just going to say that like that's a show that I would watch like in direct order. But there's tons of other stuff I just like watch with whatever like seems interesting or whatever. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, uh, yeah. I mean, I don't right, watch uh, on YouTube. I don't watch a lot of stuff that needs to be seen in order. We can't spend any more time on this. This is the pity question. I, oh. I, <laughs> I, he's right. Fuck. He's right. From, from the Patreon Discord, from Superfish, favorite national slash state slash providential flag. I would say oh, my two Maryland. favorite flags are either hmm. the original Union Jack, the Imperial Japanese flag, or 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 um, that's it. Bye. Um, that that easy easy answer. Maryland oh, or, or Brazil, yeah. It Maryland's flag looks like something that a sick knight would wear while he's like while he's like fucking blasting you off your horse with a lance. I'm googling this right. Is that the yeah that black and thing? It looks like a taxi cab combined with a knight it's with a, a Templar. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's awesome. Um, I'm um a, I mean, it's a little it's mm-hmm. it's played out, but I'm a big but I really like the uh the the national flag of Nepal because it is not it defies conventions because mm-hmm. okay. it's not oh, a yeah. rectangle. It's like two tiny triangles. You know what? I, I hate like, it's that just flag. Shaped different. And I also hate uh, uh, North Korea has like a long flag. Like it's not as like tall as a normal flag. Well, it's, like, when longer. Nepal does it, it I think it's me. cool. But when North Korea does it, they're just trying too hard. I, I agree. Um, I got to go with my boy, uh, the rebel flag, because hashtag heritage, not hate. Uh, that's um. Wait, what rebel flag? <laughs> the, uh, the Confederate flag, of course. Star Wars. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm actually what, joking. Um, I don't. What, what's that know, one? The, uh, the the yellow one with the snake on it that says "Don't tread on." Oh, me. that's that's uh, the, the fucking the, 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 the bunker hill boy. The Glaston flag. Is that no, what that's it's right. called? I, I, don't know, I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. It's called, it's called it, like, yeah, the, Isn't the it? Glasden flag, I think. The Glasden flag. I know how it's, it's spelled. It's don't tread on me. And our dad yes. has a flag like that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. He does. Yeah, yeah. He, he, flies, he, flies, it. It he flies it sometimes, it. like in the front I mean, yard. He talks about, like, how it's like Bunker Hill, because, you know, we live in Massachusetts, and we're like, you know, we, we know about Massachusetts history in shit. Okay, yeah, there it's an go. American Revolution thing. I, uh, yeah. yeah. I like the Welsh flag. Because it's got a dragon on it. Oh, Roller. yeah. That's, the Welsh that's flag good. is sick. Hip, hippo, I, I don't know if you'll even know. What, what is your favorite Union Jack? The original or the current one? Uh, the original doesn't have the extra white, does it? No, it doesn't have the extra red go, going through the... Like, doesn't have the extra like, oh, red yeah. cross. Oh, um, yeah. I don't know. I I'm not as... I, I've, I, uh, uh, it also I don't has know whether a, a I like it with the red. Flag. Wait, what is this? What is this original Union Jack? I can't find it. It, it it's a, the Union Jack is a combination of flags, and there was mm-hmm. a time when not oh. all of the flags were in it. Right. Oh, and oh, it's missing the like red bars and the diagonals. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, it looks yeah. way better with them. Uh, no, <laughs> no. <Uh-oh. laughs> uh, all right, it, it looks great. Uh, okay, Union Jack is Fuck super me, aesthetic. I guess. I just like the English flag. It's just cool, dude. Remember, just remember just when Gurren Lagan was gonna be on the Union Jack? I remember. I remember. I I remember. I remember. What? That was pretty cool. What the fuck are you talking about? There was a time when, uh, like, Britain or something said, like, "Hey guys, we're looking for like cool suggestions for like a new flag or whatever." And, yeah, I, I think it was like a. Yeah. It was just like a meme or something. It was like for something. And like <laughs> yes. the one that literally won was just the Union Jack with the 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 uh, Die Gurren Don symbol. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah! It was I sick because it's the most aesthetic logo of all fucking time. I, I see the so Canadian good. flag here with it instead of the maple leaf. That's fucking sweet. leaves. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> fucking maple niggers. <laughs> uh, yeah, truck it, fucking tree slurpers. Embarrassing, <laughs> embarrassing. Tree um, slurpers. <laughs> by the way, hashtag Californian state flag, best state flag. I, I, Look, I, I we're do like the bear. We're all forgetting I do about like the, the most powerful flag of all time, the most representative one of our current struggle. That's 
the Antifa flag, okay? Oh, <laughs> he's not wrong. He's not wrong. Black, like my heroes in ISIS. That's the good one. Um, That's the good one. My, my, my favorite, my, my, my absolute favorite flag is the tag football flags, because I always <laughs> pull way too hard and rip the fucking belt off of the people and push them to the ground, even though it was non-tackle football. And I would get sent to the principal office, but I didn't care, because I almost fucking killed someone, because I was so much bigger than they were. You uh, know what I don't sick. like about the Antifa flag? Mm. Is that it looks like a flag for, like, a local, like, sports federation. It, it looks like a flag that, like, the, the like the lower, like, the southern New Jersey District Sporting Commission would be well, putting on, like, a charity considering these ball. are all, like, rich, spoiled people just playing at Revolutionary, I feel it's fitting. Mm. Well, yeah. Yeah, that, yeah, that's yeah, all nice and all with, with your fucking beta cuck loser Antifa flag. <laughs> but check out this MGTOW real fucking nigger uh, Blue Lives Matter What's... flag. The most aesthetic fucking thing <laughs> in the entire uh... fucking world. Oh, I get it. Oh, oh God, cool. is that it? Yeah, it's fucking Ew. dope as hell. <laughs> no, dude, no, bro. Ew. I, why is only one bar blue? <laughs> because explain it's this. fucking boys in blue, dude. That is, but that is actually the worst. It's so, <laughs> it's so unbalanced. Wait. It's so unbalanced. No, it's like, dude, it's, I'm getting dizzy. It's like I'm like getting saber. dizzy looking at it's it. It's like a lightsaber. That was probably the inspiration. They uh, they, how... they didn't like the representation oh. of Luke in the new movie, so they were like, yeah, yeah. fuck this. His lightsaber's <laughs> going on the flag. Oh, blue, like police. Oh, like police. I get it. Like police. Yeah. Uh, I like the I like the the gay flag or like the LGBT flag with the brown and black because you know we got oh. we got to be we got to rep 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 <laughs> our, uh, our racial brethren. You know our Wait, oppressed brethren. There's brown and black for black people in the. <laughs> yeah, they added that like a couple. They months added ago. On to, like uh, there was but, like a, there was like a wait, meeting where like what? they added. I know well, it has nothing to do that's with it. So but they terrible. Chose to add, that's like so I, stupid. I yeah, I know. I know. Wait. <laughs> Welcome to current Wait. year. Yeah, a uh, uh, way to be a Nazi, Ben. A way to be a fucking <laughs> fascist what the hater. What fuck? Yeah, that's right, right? Oh, that's it. awful. Uh, let me I'm see. I'm so confused. I'm, I'm, I'm tr- right, right here. Yeah, that's why, the one. That's why, the one. Why only oh, black? That looks no. so bad. It looks oh, bad. No. And the I, meaning is just like, why? Uh, I mean, I mean because they're liked... a minority. Wait, wait, wait. Is I that actually really... what it means? No, I yeah. swear to God, that, that, that was a thing. That actually did happen. Oh, Hashtag oh, more color, more pride. LG, okay, it's to represent LGBT people of color. Well, they're LGBT. The flag yeah, already yeah. represents this, them. This was the argument the that everyone colorful. was saying. and every, It's they, intersectionality they, they just going yeah, a little yeah. bit off the rails mm-hmm. in my Here opinion. Here we go. But, uh, but, but, I mean, the, the flag I mean, it, already represents it, it implies, all queer I, people. I know, Why do you need to I add know. a specific They feel it, that minorities need more it, extra special representation within the LGBT community. Then have a second flag. No, that's <laughs> hateful and racist. you can fly two it's, flags. It's, it's, it's so funny because it now implies that the red stripe, the orange, the yellow, the green, the blue, and the purple are all different races of people. <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> now that's no, racist. no white flag. No, 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 no white stripe. You're not here. allowed. White, white people. Well, if you are combine out. them all, so the red one's the Native ball. Americans, the yellow one is the Asians, Wait, right? So, and then they well, also represent the, orcs. <laughs> that's the green one. Oh, we need to get rid of that blue one because so blue lives don't like, matter. What, the black stripe is for black people, and the brown is for. Uh, just Half miscellaneous just black or like minority in general, I guess. Indian people or something. I don't. I, I, just, don't, know, I don't. I don't know. I don't know. So it's By so way, confused. Look, I I get the. Point I would have just added the, the black. Point like even if I thought this was a good idea, like I would have just added the black. I I actually don't hate this as much as a lot of people do, but I I would just argue that like it doesn't it doesn't actually help what they're trying to do. Like I well, I don't have a problem. Not. Well, okay, all right, there you go. I, I'm but, not like I don't know. Whatever. Never mind. Yeah. Shout out to my boys with the asexual flag. That was one of the most asexual. That, that was one of the most <laughs> a- aesthetically pleasing. Uh, you know, uh, LGBTQ specific flags. Shout out to the a- a- asexual flag, my boys. I love your, I love your, uh, your platform, and I support you to the end of my fucking life. Look at this. Look, look at these stripes for the asexual flag. It's sick. It's not yeah, bad. It's fucking dope. It's, it's good. not bad. Uh, also, got to shout out the MGTOW flag. Uh, big <laughs> yeah. MGTOW here, repping my my brothers. Is uh, there a MGTOW flag? We're going flag our own way. Real? What's that? There is actually a MGTOW flag. Of course, of I've course, ne- my dear. Never seen yeah, yeah. It. As seen on Nate's shirt in Arm Retrieval. Retrieval, yes. What, okay, what I'm could, looking for it. This is all right. This what could is the be symbol. less manly than being artsy and making something? This Come is on. the symbol, but uh, it's on. Put it on a flag, and there you go. You got yourself a, a MGTOW flag. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Anyway. <laughs> 
We're going down a rabbit hole here. Let's proceed to our next question. Speaking I think of this. arm retrieval from oh, no. Tadpo in the Patreon oh, no. lounge, who on this week's PCP hasn't supported or shared arm retrieval con three go fund me? I, oh, I, no. I am okay, I have I not did share because it. Homestuck is gay. Yeah. I did no. share it, Munchie, but I am also I, I like I shared it right before the show and I mm-hmm. said, Okay, well I gotta do the show. I gotta land on a paper. I am gonna fucking I am gonna donate. Donate. That was always Excellent. that was oh, the my plan. God, thank you. And so it, should you, viewers. Yeah, yeah. So, so should you. Listen, go uh, to gofundmecom slash con I I I, and in between all those words are dashes. Please yes. go there. It, it, uh, j- that's where I'll be. Please give us money so Arm Retrieval Con Three can be a massive success. This will be <laughs> the only crowdsourcing, uh, you know, event for any particular meetup or you know convention of any sort for the foreseeable future for as long as we fucking may breathe. Uh, this will be the only one that you will see for possibly the rest of the PCP's existence. <laughs> and uh, there you go. Good, good, good. Uh, uh, listen, now we know. I, uh, uh, yeah. Gabe, go on, go on. Yeah. Well, I, I was, yeah, it's nothing. I have donated, but I was going to say it, but it doesn't matter. I have donated. I gave in eight bucks. Oh, so that was not you, bad. Was eight it was Dolores. Me. Hey, there you go. Uh, listen, new, new real question, please. Listen, I, I would give money to to this arm retrieval uh, illicit fund happening here. It's just OK. I got to think about where my money is actually going. Uh, do I really want to send money to the 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 disgraceful illicit Ethan and Steve? Is yeah. that something I can look myself in the mirror in the morning and say I did a good thing today? I'll, I just, I'll donate you know? on the condition that they are banned from the future. <laughs> Steve, oh, Steam, f- f- famed remover of Sildex, he's the one who went back and edited all the old panels so they were removed from the comic. Is that yeah, true? F- Did he do that? N- no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking. He doesn't have okay. access to MSPAadventure.com. <laughs> uh, I thought he meant for a personal archive. Okay, well, anyway, uh, yes, everyone give, give money. Yeah, all please the money. do. Empty your wallet. Uh, <laughs> for <people>. arm retrieval. Because <laughs> there will be nothing else besides. <laughs> so, okay, next question. What else have we got? Um, I Let me have look over here. from Me Cool Man in the Patreon lounge. When did you wake up today? Um, As of this recording, 24 hours ago. 24 yeah, hours ago is when I woke up. Okay. In okay. real life. When you got woke. Yeah, I got, I got woke. <laughs> oh, yeah, is this like a sleep. Matrix question? <laughs> basically uh, yeah 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 is this yeah, like when, asking when, when we got up? group yeah. uh fucking yeah. red pill is that is that what we're yeah when did you take the red pill oh, uh, i told you my... when i was 14 in the shower yeah yeah, 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 yeah basically <laughs> oh, 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 oh i I'll, I'll i'll figure out when, when i was fucking red pilled hold, hold, hold on one second Okay. Uh, I yeah. Uh, uh, let me let me go on to. Uh, right, 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 I found the exact date, August tenth, okay. two thousand and eleven. The date Know Your Me, My Little Pony was released, and thus the day I first started watching My Little Pony. That was hey. the day when I got woke. August right, tenth, two thousand and eleven. That's good. That's good. All right. Here, here's another question from Hayde in the Patron ch- Lounge again. Uh, favorite kind of meat? Are you team chicken, cow, fish, ham boy, or other sort of meat? Uh, cow. Does- does seafood count? Like, like, does does shellfish count? You did say fish. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. Yeah, fish, yeah, seafood, yeah. Yeah, sure. I would probably go... I think scallop might be my favorite meat of all. Where's cock so meat? Right. <laughs> I'm gay. <laughs> tier ro- Sc- tier scallop one, or lobster? Tier if we're talking one about cow. turf, I'd go with beef. Yeah. Oh, t- what a New Englander, this lobster boy. Oh, yeah. how disgraceful. <laughs> t- t- tier one cow, tier two pig, uh, slash selfish. Uh, what 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 are shrimp? Shrim- shrimp would also They're, be shrimp or shell, shell shrimp shrimp or shellfish. Yeah. Okay. Very. <laughs> t- t- tier three chicken and the rest, and then tier four is all the shit that does not matter. The well, the answer the answer is for sure. Number one is fish. I love fish. They got omega threes. They're no. they're killer. I, I fucking love fish intensely. I think I like uh, fish about as much as I like chicken. Like like I, fish itself. Yeah yeah yeah. I'm happy. Exactly. To Although admit, I really like sushi, and I guess you couldn't have that without fish. So 
there there is the novelty factor at play in fish for me because I never had a lot growing up and I kind of made novelty. it seem cool in my own head, but I still love it. And there, yeah, it's good it for just it. seems you fancy. You just thought right? fish were just it's, so it's, cool. Eating fish was delicious, and I didn't <laughs> Yo, do it enough. And no, it is exactly super low mean, fat. Like we never ate fish, and when we did, it was like, whoa, we're having fish. Whoa. Yeah, exactly. Whoa. Nice. And it's super low cal, and it's got lots of great unsaturated fats. It's it, it's, really it's super good. local. If that's true. Yeah, locally a lot of sourced. fish is mm-hmm. is From Cape not Cod. very flavorful. You need to put a lot of oil and and stuff on it before it tastes like anything. Except prawns. Mm. Prawns are good. Okay, or fair sh- enough. Uh, shrimp, whatever you call them. I don't know. Yeah, there's loads of different types of that little guy. <laughs> you're, you're you're right. Yeah, you're not wrong. Uh, but oh, I would uh, put h- chicken is like the main d- staple. Chicken is the, is best. Do you guys uh, uh, have uh, has anyone like eaten prawns where you have to rip the shell off by hand yes. and then yes. dip your hands yeah. in the bowl? Yeah, that's the worst. I love that. Um, you I love, love it? that I for some reason. I don't mind that, but I have. Okay, the biggest fucking pet peeve is when you you get like you get I don't know like shrimp uh scampi or something. You get some like yeah. pasta dish that has oh, it has no, shell, no, no, shrimp no, no. in it, but the tails are still on them. Like what the like you have, like, you have to, to get reach in there with into your, your hands. fucking pasta and pull the. Sh- why wouldn't the chef That's take it off? Stupid. He took the rest of the shell off. What the exactly? Fuck? And like why all is this like marinated done, shit? So all the butter and the garlic is like on the shell now in the trash. Like what the fuck was the point of this? What a no, waste! No, 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 no. All right, here's the point. Here's the point of keeping the shell on mm. because when you're boiling them, mm. um, the flavor of like the the meat, the flesh, uh gets diminished if it doesn't have the shell on like the shell cooks it well, somewhat really? so when you p- you serve it you have the shell no. and then you but, take it off uh, and but, it's well, like, well, like keep the them in the shell prawn of all time keep them in the shell but like they they these are these are not shelled shrimp these well they, they are I, I, shelled I, I, not shrimp pasta, like the shell not is in... removed it's just the tail is on but yeah. you can't mm. fucking eat yeah, it yeah, with the I tail I don't know on. what that is mm-hmm. What's your favorite like the, the way you're supposed to have it is yeah I I get that but I don't think that applies here uh, I like I like shrimp cocktails. You just eat the shrimp and you dip it in the marinara sauce or whatever it's called. Yeah, like in that down. case, it's fine because you hold it by the tail and you like yeah. you kind of bite it out. But in like a pasta, oh my god, I, I'm it so fucking beside myself with fury over this. I, 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 I'm actually a very big shrimp enthusiast. Uh, I, 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 did, I have not tasted shrimp until I went to Denver, where I, I live on a coastal city, but I had never tried shrimp until I went to fucking Denver, Colorado, mm-hmm. and I realized I liked it. Uh, Are you hashtag familiar? fried shrimp is literally the best shrimp. Tempo, fried shrimp tempura is delicious. Yeah. Uh, are you familiar with the Beaver Boys by any chance, Munchie? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, <laughs> the Beaver Boys are an elite group of of of, of young uh, heroes living in America and living the high life that that uh, uh, that love two things and two things only: shrimp and white wine. And these two things comprise the entirety of their being. Shrimp and white wine, the Beaver Boys, they are from Tim and Eric. And you should go check them out know, as soon as we're done. Know your meme, Beaver Boys. <laughs> they're, they're, from a, they're from several Tim and Eric episodes. Uh, okay. You should check them out. They're, they're okay. excellent. Uh, other questions. Excellent. What else we got? A lot of bullshit. How about how bullshit. about this right here? I don't know. Kaidera in the patron lounge asks if you could pass along any of your own skill slash talent to someone of the PCP. What skill would that be, and who would you give it to? Hmm. Um. I. It, this is basically why I'm better than X person. I would give Ben my financial responsibility <laughs> if I could. <laughs> If only oh, I could. Wait, wait, wait. Or that. If we give it, if we give someone the the power, do we lose it, or is we? Just uh, I'm gonna it? say it's copied in this case. Okay. You got a one time pass to give because someone if I have a skill to lose it. Have. I ain't giving anybody shit because I'm already like barely getting by. Yeah. Let, let's let's say need, this. The last thing I need I've is got. another handicap. Uh huh. <laughs> um. Well, Nate, I would give you um mm. my caring about my brother's feelings. <laughs> 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 my body would reject it like a bad transplant <laughs> without a doubt without a fucking doubt hmm. <laughs> indeed I would give uh, Digi my crippling AIDS <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I would give Hippo my capa- my lung capacity oh that's a good one that would be good that would be nice I would love that <laughs> Imagine, uh, imagine Gib puffing up like a puffer fish, and you know, preparing to unleash a torrent of. Uh, yeah. Ooh. I would give, I would give Munchie, I would give Munchie my heterosexuality. <laughs> no, no, no! Get that no. away from me! <laughs> Wave that asexual flag as fast as you can to keep it away. 
<laughs> I no. I would give Hippo my mm-hmm. 3D skills because I want to see him make animation. I'm sick of Gib being 2D in real <laughs> life. It's a real yeah. disgrace. Yeah. He needs to get with the times. It's time to it's time to fatten up. It's time to get thick. <laughs> that's what the people oh, want. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> I'd give Hippo my my incredibly disgusting eating habits of when I just engorge on on junk food, so he can he can <laughs> get some meat on his bones. Indeed, though for you it just keeps you skinny for some reason. But you just got the fastest metabolism in the world. I, I just guess. wear baggy clothes. You don't know. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> fair enough. Uh, you know, I would give Nate uh, uh-huh. my my very my my muscleless uh, body. Oh no! <laughs> would be crippled instantly. No! How cruel! How vicious! <laughs> uh, hey, here's a question for Gib. Uh, I'm just curious about this. Autistic Biden asks uh, Hippo, "Do you still play Fire Emblem Heroes? And if so, what is your favorite Fire Emblem game?" This is a terrible question. No, I, I was just I was curious if you right. still playing this uh, game because it was like a answer. thing. Uh-huh. Uh I had to take it off my phone because I wanted to play Pokemon Go okay. and it kept updating and I didn't <laughs> have space. Uh, it was all right, and I might play it again, but eh. Okay, okay. Eh. I'm just curious about the continuity of all these kinds of mobile games because me and Kingdom Hearts have fallen out of ways with the mobile game. I just can't keep up with the fucking missions that are shit. It's not fun. It's not fun. Uh, it, 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 what's your favorite Fire Emblem since you're oh, a hero? Uh, fucking... Fire Emblem 7 Final or 8. Tactics. It depends on my mood. But okay. I, either of those games are the best game ever made. Hippo is a capricious creature. Indeed. Indeed. Um, I see a pretty good question here. Mm. Let's uh, make it the this... last one because I feel like we're wrapping up here. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. Well, a uh, Plastic Gargoyle asks, this mm. question is based on the assumption that there was a point in life when you were a wee lad when you weren't mm. actively pursuing art. How has your yep. view of art and artists changed since actively pursuing it as a career? Oh, and my question. answer for that is just that I don't respect them as much. Hmm. Mm, I reasonable. don't. I don't think because I'm kind of doing the same thing, and now I don't think what they do is special anymore. That makes sense. I don't I know like... whether I'm like I can't remember a time where I wasn't thinking about doing art because I was always like people praised yeah, my same, drawings when same, I was a little same. kid. But so I don't really know whether I was ever thinking about doing something else. But I also, at the same time, feel more connected to them and almost like they're my friends. Like we have like commonality. Like sometimes mm. I think about Andrew Hussey just grinding out pages of Homestuck like for days on end, and I just think like, yeah, man, I feel you. Sometimes I think about Andrew Hussey uh, losing all the money from his Kickstarter yeah. and you know sitting around for a fucking year not updating. So, so, sometimes I think about Andrew Hussey <laughs> dating some fan artist, and then when no! she breaks up with them, he, she stays the PR manager of his company. I still oh, that's what I'm thinking about that. The ultimate cuckoldry. Okay, I mean, how sad, how unfortunate. <laughs> um, my, my perception of artists has hmm. not changed uh, at all. Basically. Basically, uh, oh, oh, a- actually, actually, the, my perception of this band of artists, the PCP, has mm. changed uh, dramatically. Actually, uh, sure. I, 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 yeah. I, I now, I now feel the same way Ben does. I don't feel like it's that special anymore. Yeah, that certainly makes sense. It's great. It's the I, best. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I, 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 I generally agree. I feel myself a little more jaded, in a sense. Like, okay, I, a, a lot of people. I, I've been thinking about this lately. I've seen a lot of people talking about, like, I think I watched, like, uh, maybe it was, like, Philip DeFranco or something. It it was something about, like, the new changes to, like, the monetization stuff on YouTube, where now, like, uh, if you have less than a 1,000 subs and, or, or, like, or you haven't gotten, like, 4,000, like, hours hours of watch time. time. Yeah, in the last, like, year or or something, then, like, you're not eligible for monetization. Mm -hmm. And just, uh, I'm not commenting on that, uh, but, like, that made, like, people were bringing up the point that, like, okay, it's really hard to, like, make it as an artist like on youtube and it's obviously it's just getting harder and like maybe i'll make it but it's really they've really been a lot of people have been saying like you shouldn't make this like your main thing unless you're like super successful like you should keep working your job and just make this like a hobby to keep it pure and i've really been rebelling against that in my own mind but i don't i don't know like i'm kind of split on the issue like i personally am dedicated to making it happen but like if you look at something like weagawa weagawa is a is a reaction to my evolving understanding of how to make it in this world i would rather be working on like bigger projects that i could you know like when i started on my channel spending like months and years like preparing like really big things and i am still doing that but they're taking longer because you know this other shit 
So, like, I'm, I'm wondering, and in fact, if I am able to go full-time content creator, I might be able to then make, like, a Weagua and get my bigger projects out faster because I'm, like, getting paid for doing art in general and don't have to go to, like, a wage slave job and, you know, all, the, it might work out that I make more and better art in that way. But Ooh, also, it's possible it might not work out that way. Um, I don't know. I, I'm a little bit, I, I, I feel, feel like a little more jaded. someone with your disposition would increase mm -hmm. their workflow dramatically because you're not somebody who's just going to be like well i don't have to go to work anymore i guess i'm going to eat doritos and watch anime you know i think, I, 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 think I sort of fear that i sort of fear that but go, that's, go on Gib, yeah. that's um like like uh i think jesse said this like a long time ago mm -hmm. on the podcast is that mr plinkett like red letter media yeah the mr plinketts were like great when they were around but a lot of like the half in the bags and like just the silly videos mm -hmm. with mike and rich just talking about something have just as many views right yeah and are also just as funny <clears throat> with so much less effort put into them mm -hmm. that they've they've realized that nothing not everything has to be a plinket review indeed and indeed. nothing has to be not ever, uh, not everything has to be like a big project that you spend a lot of time on to make it like really good because mm -hmm. at the end of the day the the effect is the same and at, at this point you... you're totally right and at this point like i have enjoyed half in the bag possibly at this point as a collective more than i have enjoyed uh the plinket reviews like those but are nothing, legendary nothing and that's ever happened on half in the bag has had like anywhere near it, the kind of impact it, on exactly, well th there is exactly. there are there are some exceptions to this and like the uh the the one video they did on uh jack and jill in, in as a half in the bag is like legendary and i think is like makes just as good a point and artistically so as was done in the Plinkett reviews. I'm not going to say that like artistically it was quite on the same level as everything that happened in Plinkett, but mm -hmm. the point like, and the, the meaning behind it is it, a, a really good one and very interesting and presented in a, in a great way. And like for, and like when I was doing Weagawa, just because I like forced myself to grind out a bunch of videos, I ended up making stuff that was like, some of them were really great. Like people really liked the one where I talked about like working out. Like when uh, I was just scrolling on you uh, on like the 4chan looking for something to talk about that day, and I saw the chart about the increase in um, like people signing up for the volleyball clubs in high school in Japan after the release of uh, I forget like the 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 manga about IQ. or the anime. Of, what what was it? Was it Haikyuu? That yes, called? that's right. Haikyuu, this the the volleyball uh, manga Shonen Jump slash anime, and like I and then I was just. It, grab me spiraling off thinking about like all this stuff and i ended up making what i consider a really great video about that and uh you know nankiro moteru whatever it's called uh and so like great things can emerge when you put yourself on the grind and yeah, yeah I, it's, I don't know. it's 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 less likely that a weaga will, will be as good as your girl Lagan video of but course it's not impossible it's true which is the point it's true I, and you know what i, I actually i i only slightly disagree there i think even, like, the newest Plinket, I think, is better, like, aesthetically, or, like, artistically, it is better than even the best Half in the Bag, which is the Jack well, and Jill one. that's the whole yeah. thing. It's, like, you have to, and you I, have to ask, yeah, like, what yeah. the point of the art is. Because, like, mm -hmm. when you think about it, something, the difference between a Plinket review and Half in the Bag, and the difference between, like, a Weagawa and, like, Gurren Lagann is really yeah. mostly window dressing, right? Like, yeah. Because it, it's, like, drag... The, attracting people from like the visual presentation and Indeed. things like that but the con like if you made a weagua about gurren Lagann, you would have hit on the same points it's just the presentation I... would have been very true static very i true. will actually challenge this i okay. feel like this group in particular has mm. been consciously moving away for not you know I immoral reasons uh, mm -hmm. uh, for mm -hmm. a sure. lot of <laughs> for, for I I think mostly for you know it's uh, economic doing the same thing shit. yeah economic yeah. and just you know not wanting to be stagnant they've sure, been sure. moving away from long like like big big long uh, not long form necessarily but big mm -hmm. concise bombastic huge say everything you possibly can be it can say about a topic in mm -hmm. one video um highly structured and edited uh, to a fine mirror shine to just spewing out shit uh, all the time <laughs> yeah that's yeah. true Be honestly because that works uh, at least for me that's what we was so that i could keep myself engaged in youtube and I've, keep people I've coming back i've tried very d hard to not let my videos become mm -hmm. like Weagawa. that like, i still try enough yeah but like i i feel like i also can't reach the heights like i've tried like the the closest i got was my rayman video which everybody loves mm. and it's a big old thing but i don't even know whether that's like on the same level like proportionally 
like a, in a ratio sense to like a plinker review to to what a half in the bag is like i don't know whether i've reached like a big project yeah. Well, well, I don't know. I don't know. All, 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 all I want to say, I, I don't think there's like, like you know, I, 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 I love React with Nate, and I watch it as soon as it comes out. I, I, that's I've heard, yeah. just recently on the new one. I like, I got a letter from Sai who says that he like loves my old work, but they said he's gotten so much more out of Weagua than he did for like the the like like look at this. It's like five best anime ever's because they each took six months to make more or less. So. You know, I, I I I will say like sure if we're going to look at it from like 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 lens like like eagle eye point of view, what mm-hmm. series have I gotten more out of? Sure, maybe due to the fact that it just is so much longer, I've gotten more out of Miyamatha slash Wii Uaga than mm-hmm. be- best anime ever. But here's the thing, I rewatch best anime ever during the gone like good point pretty fucking frequently i do that all the time Mm -hmm. and whenever i do it i still am amazed by how well structured and fucking edited to a mere fucking shine it is and how incredible it is on every fucking level whereas a weagawa i would never rewatch it i would never do that even though i think it's good to put on and you know i can draw in the background of it it doesn't doesn't have the same weight to me you know that's right that's right to, to remember is that the reason why like this pivot it is happening it's mm-hmm. i don't know economics yeah. yeah it's an economic mm-hmm. it's not a mm-hmm. creative sure. decision well, like uh, if all things right. if all things yeah. were equal and like nate you could have the exact same impact and make the exact same amount of money mm-hmm. just slaving away over the next best anime ever as opposed to doing Weagua, I'm pretty sure you would just do best anime ever. Like, Weagua I, actually, is I don't quite agree. Response. I think now that I've tried out Weagua, I do actually like staying sort of w- w- in constant communication with my audience, with like regular updates. Mm-hmm. So I think yeah, but you like that because of the economics. That well, I I right. mean, uh, what I like it because it keeps people interested in me, which is part of what I need to do. Right. So, so that's, there's that's always my a practical. Point. There's I'm always saying, a yeah, practical still... component. Like we could dream that in a perfect world. Like but that where, was what I was proposing. I was proposing I, the reason this is it's an economic choice, not a creative. It, it's not just economic though. It's 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 like if if I don't Societal make like, just impact. just practically, Cultural. if I put out a yeah. best anime ever every six months, people will just forget about me, regardless of like how much money I'm making. And I don't want that. I want to stay active and I want to stay involved. But but I'm not I'm not trying to you know counter you or anything. P- please go on. That what's was... wrong with being like? What's wrong with being like a reclusive artist who just puts out a big bomb every now and then? Like that's not, a, that's, that. not a, that's not a nothing at all. Thing. That's just not what I want to do. That's all. Okay. Okay. Yeah. But like yeah. you can to say people ego. people succeed on that model. Yeah. Well, uh, not Mr. as Beaton much anymore. Not on is, YouTube. Is exactly not right. on YouTube. It's way well, harder. Not to do. Mr. Beaton is not succeeding on YouTube because he's not well, making I'm any not money. Say, I didn't. You, you were talking about succeeding as I was saying Mr. Beaton as an example, like. He, he's not an example of that, but like mm-hmm. people love Mr. B Tung. You love Mr. B Tung so much. He's niche. He's so niche. And he's he but, doesn't overload you with stuff that is not interesting. As interesting. Well, as uh, the, uh, what are we talking about? Economics or like a good channel? Um, I'm. I don't know. You were talking about the way you want to be perceived. Like you want people to remember you. I want to stay a constant force in people's lives. That's that's true. I want them to, to reflect and say, ah, yes, let's would see what say, best guy is up to Would you say now. that your goals have changed as in a response to doing Mia Mafava and Weagawa as a result? I, well, uh, let's not forget, the reason I did Mia Mafava was because I was sick of people saying that, they're, that they only hear from me, like, every once, every six months. Because that was never my intention. I wanted to get things out faster. I just, you know, have to work and don't have time. I don't really care at all how mm-hmm. much people hear from me. Mm-hmm. I just want to leave them with a good impression. And I just want to leave them, I just want to give them something cool whenever mm-hmm. I got it. You know, Perfectly I just want, reasonable. That, that's, that's what I care about. Not, not even one one iota of my original statement was to disparage we wag or short form frequent content I'm that's true saying, i know i i want i am I'm, I'm a little afraid that people will just only do short form stuff but e- even though that is more economic you know and well, that, that's that the reason is they're better do for it. practical things you know uh, munchie i would just like art to be what i like is <laughs> munchie I, I i totally hear what you're saying yeah. but for for someone like me i i would ask for for people to be charitable anyone who makes this point and unfortunately this is asking kind of a lot but do not judge someone like me on what i'm producing moment to moment. I would say in a few years, look back at what I created and then say, well, look, I didn't get the content I wanted. Therefore, this I, this time period, I would consider a failure because you didn't make a single best anime ever. You were too busy on Weagawa and I'm not, you know, it goes in the, the, the trash bin of history. I, I think that is that a perfectly a reasonable thing to say. Per se. yeah, What's that, yeah. Tom? I think it's just 
Well, it might be a failure to you as an audience member. Right, That's just for your personal... Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, you can make a case, which is totally fine. Like, mm -hmm. I would argue that, uh, like, the last year... For example, Twin Perfect is an interesting example to me, mm -hmm. uh, where those guys... Actually, it was very interesting. Recently, they've been doing this entire year. They've been doing a m monthly recap. They called like, the Perfect Monthly Recap. Mm -hmm. And at the end of every month, they would review things that happened the previous month. The problem was... By the time they were doing this recap, the entire news cycle for every story they talked about was completely over and nobody gave a shit anymore. Mm -hmm. So like these videos, they have like 55,000 subs or something. They would get like 4,000 views. And then at the end of this experiment that honestly I kind of think is them reframing like what they were doing. They were like, oh, that was just an experiment. And the whole like this was just in addition to our actual content that we actually care about. We didn't want this to be popular anyway of um, of like our big analytical videos that they did of like the new alien movie. Uh, like Prometheus something something the new one or whatever mm -hmm. and other stuff and those videos do indeed get like generally hundreds of thousands of views people give a shit about those and they weren't into their review stuff so like those are that's an example of guys trying something and like not not it not working out very well in terms of like trying to do regular content because they didn't give the market what it needed they weren't snappy enough they weren't fast enough and they they just like weren't engage enough with the community even though they were trying to so that's the sort of thing you need to avoid if you're trying to make this kind of regular content i would say but they're they're a very interesting case um but whatever i don't know yeah uh i i i agree with everything said here uh i just i, I just want i like like uh, I, I, I was gonna say digi please make another a uh, good video Ah, <laughs> there it is. There it ever. is. Please, you didn't like you didn't like his it. like hour long Makoto Shinkai or whatever. No, that was fine. I mm -hmm. I, I don't like any of the other things that are constantly happening. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, the oh god, I don't want to talk about this. Shit. <laughs> oh, who does? Who does? I am. Um, uh, Shout out to Digibrony MLP. Wanna... <laughs> Shout out. <laughs> what would you cons guys consider my like greatest project that I've made? Uh, top ten hippos. Top ten fucking hippos is the I mean, greatest video of yeah, all time. Top ten hippos like, is like, probably the funniest. Um, <laughs> I'm like, oh no. <laughs> I really love the GRPJs a lot. Mine. I would is, love more of those. There's a fish at the door. Yeah, I really love. Oh, the fish. oh yeah. that's true. I forgot about those, the but fish, yeah. Yeah, your animations Hi are really great. Hi Hi Hippo, I'm just gonna tell you right fucking now. Here's here's the munchy munchy uh, opinion. Here's just here. Hmm. I want to lay it on the table. Game reviews, stop, stop it. <laughs> Animate, draw that stuff. Here's here's what you're here's what you're going to do in my brain when I fantasize about it. <laughs> here's what I hope, and when you don't do it, I'll be disappointed. As the you seer should, of mind, Munchie predicts. It, yeah, it, it, mm -hmm. ex exactly. You should become the literally new control alt delete and just make what? daily or like weekly comics. Not about video games, just oh. like 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 short comics. Just turn all of your puns on Twitter into short comics. You would be a billionaire. It would be great. I want to see you draw these. Your drawings are good, and it would be funny and games fuck video games fuck them they're <laughs> done there's no more you can do reviews are dead Re analytical content is over bye 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 wiped off the map do new things create actual art real art that isn't fake like analysis interesting that's idea me. that's me your rebuttal hippo <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, oh no. no don't worry i don't kid. know I, I, okay. <laughs> I, 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 I like I like the Bugs Life review. I, 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 I like I like I like I like all of the videos. I just don't want them no, to be no, made. No, 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 no. Don't backpedal now. <laughs> <laughs> well, now that we've slayed Gib, uh, that was a thorough examination of that last question, but mm -hmm. uh, but it was good. It was good stuff there. All right. Well, I guess that's it, everybody. That was our last question. Yep. Thank you, everybody. Go to patreon.com slash the procrastinators, pledging $1, and then you're in the chat in there. You can fucking give us questions that we'll answer on Saturdays when we fucking record, so watch out on Saturdays if you're in their fucking place. Um, and uh, $5 or more, get access to all our bonus episodes. There will be a new one coming out when this comes out in about a week, I think. It's something around there. delicious. That one, that one is fucking oh, scrumptious. It's, you better oh, It's the best. It's the, I, I think it's my favorite one. It's, it's, yeah. it's incredible. It yeah. is the alpha and omega. Could it, of bonus could it be episodes. our best work? 
I think it's, it's probably could it, could it be the PCP's first masterpiece? It's the <laughs> new PCP's <laughs> NU PCP's masterpiece yeah, yeah, yeah. for sure. <laughs> yes. For sure, uh, <laughs> it's incredible. Just sign the fuck up. And Post uh, time that, skip PCP. <laughs> it's it's the Act Six masterpiece. Yeah, yeah, yeah. PCP. yeah, yeah. There's no doubt. Uh, and uh, other than that, it's all a bunch of bullshit. Uh, give us all your money, and thank you. We got some some merch. Uh, Redbubble link in the description. Uh, hashtag Ask PCP for the pity questions. If you don't want to give us any money, well, we might read one or two. If we fucking feel. If we you deign know, to, to come down from our pedestal on Mount Olympus, uh, we might read one or two. Um, what else we got? Uh, we got the, the podcast is up on iTunes and Google Play, courtesy of Mr. Tom Oliver. Thank you, as always, for that. And I think that's everything. I think we've done it once again, everybody. Thank you for listening. Hot damn. Mm -hmm. We came, we saw, we settled religion forever. We answered the questions and we made the I think I think the point the point of this episode is that we're the only gods you need. That's Mm -hmm. exactly right. The only (laughs) god is man, and I am a real man. Just think just think about what you've done for the past two hours and think about how much happiness we've given you. This is proof that short form uh, uh, content frequently is the best form of content. I think any, no, uh, Munchy, more dissenting importantly, dissenting is, this was is twice is as long wrong. as church and like ten yeah. times as entertaining. <laughs> okay. Truly this is heaven here on earth. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Oh, For you, this the is the Shining City, dude, dude, dude. Literally, the Shining City is PCP HQ. That's where all where all the yeah. people who are resurrected go to. That's yeah, right. Dude. It's patreoncom slash the procrastinators. Make it real. Donate yeah. to your church <laughs> and gods. Uh, what we're, was it? The Church of Equal. The Church of uh, Equal Pay, I think, is what we sell. Because uh, fuck the wage gap, I believe, is what no, we sell. Yeah, yeah, church yeah, yeah. of <laughs> exemptionism. 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 And, 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 and grind jealousism. Grind jealousism. Grind all right, sign jealousy. up, everybody. Really Thanks for listening, awesome. everybody, and we will later, see you next time. Bye. Bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. Yeah. Oh. I'm supposed to be working right now. I'm supposed to be